hold on that I keep my fire I can't wait to hit up little night yo. And every month will be a very special primo for me Dang, we ain't seen nothing in a little weird. Hello, hello, hi. Alright, everything's picking up. Alright, yo, bunch of people, come on. Dang, I'm crazy, son. Hey, we eat on the podcast. Alright, let's do this. You just killed like three of your pages in your book. Nope, just one. Oh my god, you could have just ripped. You I'm know gonna what? go back to it. Nah, I rip it. I still write on it. That don't mean nothing to me. Oh my god. This is god. a work notepad anyway. All right. You ready? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yo, Snake This Podcast, <laughs> episode 274. Rico. Mm. Greg. Back in the building. George is out of town. Appreciate Rico stepping in like always. People love you and I episodes. Huh? Thank you. They all yeah, the shortest like, shortest people, it is, shortest uh, sneaker people ever podcast. We had to do a podcast. We had to call episodes. it that. Yeah. We call it point five. What was that? <laughs> half size, whatever we call it. Half size run. That's half size run. That's actually good funny. Shit. Half size run. We appreciate everybody who likes, subscribes, shares the podcast. We appreciate everybody who comments, DMs, all that good old stuff. Um, might have an episode next week. Not sure. We'll be out of town, so I don't know. See what kind of happens. Um, um, but like Be, I uh, said, podding from Disneyland, maybe Disneyland culture pod, possibly probably maybe find walk a, around the hotel room and pod or something. Probably find a weekends with Walt there. Maybe he's always he that stays guy, there. there. Is he at Disneyland or Disney World? I don't know. I wish I knew. Oh, okay, I don't know because I mean obviously him and John Disney kicks man. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, the Black Walt Disney. And then, you know, Walt, I mean, they live there. So, yeah. I mean, them cats, you know, he has a, a sneaker podcast, too. It's like, I guess, Disney cats that go uh, to Disneyland and sneakers, too, I guess. So, I listen to it a few times. It's pretty good. So, I don't know how often they record, but. I don't understand going to Disneyland that much. I don't get it. I mean, it's, like, a, I feel, it's a feeling. If I go once, I'm probably good for the next, like, five, six years. Um, but, like. Yeah, I will say the last time I went, I took Cortez two years ago for his birthday once you kind of like hit the main things, it was like, oh, now I haven't been to California Adventures, so. Uh-huh. So we're going, we'll be there for about, I don't know, four days, five days a week or whatever. So mm-hmm. I'll go there and Disneyland and California Adventures. Right. Um, but once you walk around and you kind of hit the main ones, you're like, oh, you know, you do Haunted Mansion. That's Is that Haunted saying. Mansion? Yeah, yeah, Haunted Mansion. I do the train, that fast train, whatever it was called. But that's what I'm saying. Like me coming from uh, from theater, it's like everyone's obsessed with Disney. Like I've had homies who have moved to Orlando to go to Disney every weekend, and I'm like, yeah, that's you kind of. I was like, to do what? Like no, Disney College program is a cult. I'm There's a 100% what? Percent convinced Disney College program. It's oh, like, they like go, but then like. So like graduate or anything? Maybe so I'm like, I don't, oh, I don't know. Okay. It, I'm pretty sure it's a cult. I, I have no idea how it works. See, I remember when I was in college and they would Disney came to the job fairs. They had this thing, like, but you had to go to Disneyland, like for mm-hmm. like six months. I don't know what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever it was, like a program. But people do it for like five, six. Years. Uh, yeah. six I mean, hey, years. man, more power to everybody. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I get like really worked up now. If I'm going as much as them, I gotta have VIP. Mm-hmm. Some type fast of fast pass everything. Uh, not even fast. It's pass. like Goofy. You know me by now. Like oh, I'm gonna let me in be here able first. to walk straight on. Yeah. Fast pass. You gotta like schedule your oh, ride. No. So it's like okay, as soon as you get in the park, you schedule the main ones so you can uh, go to those. That's how you gotta do if it. If I'm there as much as some other people I know are there, yeah, like I got light year. Better let me into the ride oh, yeah, right yeah. away. No, no, no. I get to take my kids to eat with the princess. All that mm-hmm. stuff. If I'm there that much. Because I'm like, dang, like, what is it like? A, do they have a season pass to Disneyland? I have no idea. I have no idea. I've never looked That's at expensive. it. That's expensive. Uh, pickups. Anything. Other than that. I don't, Other than that. I don't think so. Well, I got I Pata Blacks, the black Pattas. Oh, that's so right. So I got them off the Pata website in the morning, which is surprisingly now. Maybe they just make a ton of pairs. They didn't arrive yet? 
No, it comes uh, the 16th. I wanted that one. So, are they hidden? Are they reselling for a lot? I don't know. I didn't even look. I mean, none of the other ones are. Like the mm. burgundy ones are below retail. Um, well, now, these black ones, ones were That's over why. 200 which kind of shocked me a bit. Mm. Maybe I just maybe because I got it from Germany. I think that's what it was. The shipping might be the like vat, thirty dollars, uh-huh. whatever. Yeah. Um, got those. I was Black excited about those. Fire. They are. Which yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm glad I got those. And like I said, I never had any issues copping off that site. Mm-hmm. So grabbed it off there. I think that's it, as far as I could think of. I did buy a couple hats, but I don't remember from where. Yeah, I mean, I tried for a pickup this morning. For what? <laughs> for what? What are you trying for? For Crocs. So oh, Crocs. I did the raffle. I mean, Damn. I've entered every single raffle. And you want those? I, I need them. I think I want them too. I need them. I mean, I don't got no problem with stuff like that. $85. Nah, you know what I mean? I need them. Like, it, like, I'm actually like. The price is on stock. If they hit, insane, if though. they hit like around 400, I'm going to cut. No, you yes, won't. I am. If you buy those for 400, then you I can't. Am. I mean, those gonna, are essentially foam runners. Dog, we live in. No, no, they're not. I think they're. they're a- I mean, but the design is actually good. Like that. That's the difference. No, no I'm not. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. that. No, 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 no. no, no, no they're no. fired. These are a need. Need. I mean, All right. So if I win a raffle, I'm definitely long, like, oh, cool. Oh well, so if I win the I raffle, those. but like if I have to, no, no, no. If they I get to something, be more around four hundred. Uh, I'm probably gonna pay retail for them. Dog, we live in Arizona. It's hot. 10 months out of the year. Like, I'm going to wear them every single day. I mean, do you even wear other Crocs? I wear Burks. I mean, I wear Burks like 90% of the time. Do you own any Crocs? No. So, what about you? Don't like the other Crocs? No. They okay. suck. But these ones are fire. Yes. Okay. They got waves on them. And it's they, a good they, design. Yeah. Oh, I'm not mad at it. I'm not saying they whack, but like, to me, you it's gotta different have from. A, uh, you got to like, have an OG Croc. From like first. a. No. It's you different, man. OG, OG Crocs, nah, OG you, Crocs suck, dude. Because I no. think by your definition, and this is how you, a lot of you New Balance Oh, I gatekeep. Act, I am the gatekeeper, all right? Because this would be an act I would consider of hype beast. Oh, if yeah. you ain't running around with no, sure. what they call Crocs, if you ain't wearing mm-hmm. Crocs, and all of a sudden, these are the ones you need. Oh, I need them. That's fine. I'll be I ain't mad at it. I'll be that. That's but okay. I but I feel like you got to have a pair no. of Crocs. Crocs are horrible. You don't even know what you look like in these, in Crocs. At okay. least the Crocs will give you an idea of what you might look like in these. No, that's not how it works. God, I don't even They're know not the Crocs same. That's I did like... a size 10. You what? I did a size 10 in them in the raffle. So did I. I was like, I don't know if that's the right size or what. I would not have a I heard you you're supposed to go uh, size down. So, I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah. If they're oh, big, I don't care. Shoot. They look. Some kids I be seeing wearing them, they look mm-hmm. crazy. I need they them, look big. You going to open this or you want me to open this? You can open it. You already looked at it, right? I have, yeah. Okay. I put a picture on it. Are you fine with talking about this? Uh, yeah. Because you're now a brand ambassador. Oh, okay. all right. So... It's dizygotic. Dizygotic. And yeah. that's a, a medical term, right? It's for it it's for like Siamese twins, right? Or fraternal twins, right? Fraternal twins. That That's sounds Siamese. right. So it's like you're twins, but you look different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. It's yep. called Dizy got it. Dizy got it. Dizy got it. Yeah, it's fraternal twins. That's the medical definition. So this box is fire. So box is incredible. You sent me their information mm-hmm. in case like that about getting them on the podcast you know i followed them and i sent them a message i think they sent me a few back i don't think i ever got back to them i don't remember but you know like they sent a few information on like you know hey videos stuff like yes, that yeah, or yeah, not. Yeah. the promo i mean are you fine with talking about this because yeah. i know you got a thing tonight yeah I'll talk oh, okay so you're doing a q a thing mm-hmm. with david blackman and a few other people or whatever yeah. with the company or yeah, whatever the flavor is apparently it. supposed to be there epsilon mag max low all those guys so this is the box now just from the box and everything, mm-hmm. it's fire. It's fire. Okay. Now, so the butterfly is like, you know. It's different. It's different. Mm-hmm. So if you can see, but it's the one butterfly, two things, dizygotic, dizygotic, dizygotic. Dizygotic. <sighs> I'm going to talk about that too, fam. What? Talk about what? Any D- opinions. Pronunciation? Any opinions I give on this and stuff too is of my own. Yeah, no. Volition. Absolutely. Not of Rico. Yeah, <laughs> or anybody yeah, yeah. else. So, I don't know if anybody can see. This is the box. This is fire. It's fire. Ooh, smells good. Mm-hmm. You don't like smelling stuff, so don't go, mm-hmm, me. You don't? I can smell it from afar. I'm not sticking my entire face in the shoe. So, have you already wore these? 
Oh, you tried them on? I tried them on. Okay. So it comes with four laces, which four is laces. always fire. Always. They come in the foam, mm-hmm. and it come with, these are called Project Alpha. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes, Project Alpha. So this is like um, uh, their first. Their first? They, yeah, and they okay. said there was other stuff missing. They were like, oh, you're not going to get the full unboxing experience. And then it arrived, and I was like, this looks pretty fucking full to me. Like, it's... You know what I mean? Not gonna get the full. What's the full unboxing experience? That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know what else it comes with. Like maybe maybe additional paper. Like maybe something like that. But I was like, this is incredible already. This is fire. It comes with looks like flat laces and rope laces. Yeah, you can take them out of there. You can pop them out. Like good lord, it comes with because of a bunch of laces. Three flat laces, mm-hmm. and then an, oh four flat laces. Mm-hmm. Rope laces already in it. Mm-hmm. Reflective 3M. It got it all. Light purple. Look like violet, navy blue, white. I mean, like I said, the box is fired. Butterfly comes together. Mm-hmm. So this is the shoe. Now, they're different. Yes. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. So they're twins. Fraternal twins. Same, same, but different. But they're different. Mm-hmm. You like these? I do. These are fire. I do. I like these a lot. Now, how much do these cost? Uh, to does anybody know? They that? want the price point. Because they sent it to me with an invoice, and the price point was two sixty. Now, which I feel like is really not bad. So, this is oh, so what's special about these is is that like I guess the company what's this called Vibram Vibram mm-hmm. whatever it is Vibram Vibram, which is like a lot of people who make their independent sneakers they use these soles. Mm-hmm. Mosh uses them. Yeah. Um, you know, like those cats, like obscure sneakers uses them. Yeah, too. wear uh, sneaker people like mm-hmm. people like that yeah, use yeah. these. But I guess, like, you know, from what I remember the guy telling me in DMs or whatever it was, that, you know, they didn't want to do two different shoes Mm -hmm. or whatever it was. Because, like, even the bottoms are two different colors. Right. And that's something that they typically don't do or whatever, Mm -hmm. but they were able to convince them or whatever to do so or whatnot. Um, Do these have, like, a special meaning or anything? Or does the purple one, there's a purple and green one. Yeah. Or are they the same? No, the, the purple... Like, are there different people on the back? Like I those? think so, okay, yeah. Okay, I think so, too. And I don't know what it is. Um, it's a Japanese art. He explained it to me. I don't even know yeah, it's like a it's a big explanation. They have videos on YouTube and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You can go to their IG page. It's a D-I-Z-Y-G-O-T-I-C or whatever. Um, I like these a lot. Like, you know, these are kind of like right up my alley, like where I am in my life, you yeah. know. Put them on, wear them, you know, kind of go out type thing. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, this is kind of tight, too. A little... Things in the back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are. The little like hits the that little are on there. Things that they do. Are, it's good leather. It's, it's good suede. It has all of it. Okay. Mm-hmm. It has 3M. You know, it's cool. Now, you are a big supporter and fan of brands and stuff like that that, you know, aren't necessarily the, the hype, I guess. Mm-hmm. The, the norm. I don't know what you want to call it. Not the yeah. norm, but like, you know what I mean. The mainstream, I guess. How can a brand like this really do something? I think it just has to find its niche. I think if it finds a core audience, it can grow like incrementally. You know what I mean? They're not coming out the gate like, yo, fuck Nike, we're here now. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like no one's really going to do that. But if they, Any you know, brand that comes out that's the gate what, thinking they're going after Nike should just stop. Yeah. They but, should never. You know, but to be an alternative in footwear, like that's... Something, I can do it. I can fucking make a shoe. Like, I can design that. You know what I mean? So, it's right. just, it's, um, I think they, they find their core audience, which is, I mean, probably more going to be Europe-based. Because I feel like stuff like that doesn't really, it's difficult in the States. You know what I mean? And they're based out of Tucson, too. So. Which is crazy. Yeah. Which is nuts. I was like, I'll fucking drive down there if you want. Um, I'll come through. You know, yeah. And this is just my own take Mm -hmm. on it. You know, I will say this. Like, we've had people come on this podcast before way, way earlier. And, you know, I feel like, you know, like us, you know, or like Andy, everybody that we know, you know, tapes, everybody that we know, and like people that we know online and stuff like that are like tapped into like sneaker culture. And we know like what to do and how to move and what's going to fly and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's like... You know, with this, they have a really, really good product. When I see this box, I see this presentation, I think, okay, that's a lot of money. Now, if the price that you're saying is the price, that's actually pretty good. That's really good. Like, that's actually really, really a really good. good price for this quality box. Mm-hmm. Four, la- five laces, technically. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And then whatever else apparently didn't come with it. Premium materials yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they look comfortable. They look comfortable. Anything with that sole. They're pretty comfortable, yeah. pretty comfortable. I didn't, like, walk around in them, but I right. did try them on, like... Um, you know, I, th I will say this. One thing about this company, like, to me, their bread and butter is going to be the butterfly. Like, yeah. I, I, it's hard to build, like you said, a... Um, a following, I guess, or a shoot. Mm -hmm. Like it's tough. Like because they have a lot of like. I'm in camera, right? Really, yeah. yeah. They have a lot of a uh, really big. I'll say like, like accounts behind them, like flavors to share their stuff, and Epsilon and Max Low, and they all have like you know 50k, you know whatever followers right. and whatnot. And but the page, it's only has like about four yeah it's low yeah three four hundred followers and you know so, so it's like when you come out so like mosh okay mm -hmm. you know the thing is like when you come out like this this is like a company fresh out the gate we make shoes type thing right it didn't have like nothing prior as far as i know now maybe you'll learn that tonight we'll find out more about that tonight where it started maybe they had other brands and they shifted i don't know right but like a mosh you know was like legendary with customs and mm -hmm. you know you couldn't go on a soul collector or any type of blog or nothing without seeing something mosh had made right know, whether it was a custom or whatever sneaker whatever it was he built that following and stuff mm -hmm. like that so then when he came out with his own sneaker line it was already cemented in him he was somebody in sneaker culture so you can do it saya you know somewhere in america you know one thing that he had going for him was that he had like being black owned that was like his real super duper bread and butter. Mm -hmm. That got him on, you know, it was Breakfast like a Club plus. Got him on like the Breakfast Club, mm -hmm. you know, TNT, you the know, Warriors. things like that. Yeah. You know, yeah, it got him that connection, especially being based out of the Bay Area. You know, Bay Area, Oakland, that area is like very, you know, pro-black, you know, support businesses, black-owned, independent type thing. And, you know, he had some fresh designs and things like that. And also, you know, it... It really blossomed at a time of when, like, you know, obviously protests and things like that. And mm -hmm. people were really, like, you know, trying to get behind, you know, the black community and that business stuff. So, like, he was able to build his following, you know, through that and maintain it by, you know, building Crush Designs and Mosh the same way. Mm -hmm. This one, like I said, this got me a little hard. It's super duper fire. The best thing right now about this is the fact that the price is right. Mm -hmm. Because that price right there is cheaper to, than, than a Mosh. lot of other ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um I don't know if this is produced, produced here in the U.S. or if this is overseas. I don't know. But, um, you know, one thing I will say is that, like, you know, when these brands come up, one thing about social media is when it comes to clothing, mm -hmm. I'm more, like, willing to, like, see somebody independent with clothing. Like, well, I'll give that a shot. You know what I mean? It's like sometimes you got to well, take it's, a risk. Well, it's, it's an easier risk. You know it's an easier oh, one. It's $30 for this T-shirt? Okay. Right. Yeah. And I feel like with clothing – We've sort of like everybody's clothing styles have like, I guess what graduated to the point of where like name brand doesn't really matter anymore. Like you can wear a so like you know David he has the Ivy brand. Mm -hmm. Like I wear an Ivy brand shirt. Oh that's on his fire. Yeah, that's yeah, on his yeah. fire. It's about fire now. Mm -hmm. Look, cats out here wearing T-shirts that were made in 1989. They're mm -hmm. finding at vintage shops and stuff. So like your hoodie don't gotta say Nike or it don't right, gotta right, say right. this stuff anymore. A plain black hoodie, plain gray hoodie and some pants and sneakers. Mm -hmm. Cats be fit as crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's not as complicated as it used to be. I would definitely say I would like to see and I did watch their video um, it had like some clothing items on there. I don't know if that's like just pr promotional type things or whatever, mm. but I would like to see some clothing, some shirts and stuff right. like this. It, it brings people to it's it a lot apparel. easier. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, a few t-shirts. Like, oh, shoot, a t-shirt. Even like the silly he dropped today. It's like, obviously the fucking Crocs were gone in 30 seconds, but I mean, maybe get a t-shirt. Right. Some pants, you know what I mean? Because um, like I said, this butterfly is their bread and butter. It's to, really good. To me, it reminds me of like Manor and the M. Mm-hmm. When they came out the end with the hats, right. the t-shirt, the manor across it. That's their bread and butter. Like, mm -hmm. you always need a manor t-shirt. You right. know what I mean? Like, you know, it's 30 bucks, 28 bucks, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You always could use one. Even with so this many. butterfly and stuff like that, like, you can make, you know, shirts and product like that and then gradually bring the sneakers along. Mm -hmm. I will say, do I do, like, appreciate independent brands, like, really trying to do so? It's hard. It's like, brutal. And especially, like, when you got to technically compete against your Nikes and Adidas because they drop weekly. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like there's not a right <laughs> week that you can drop, you know, when you got your own stuff because I will say the price does have to be right now because 
I go on sneakers or anything, whatever I go and I happen to cop, you know, mm -hmm. say I copped Cool Grays, let's say I copped Patas and I copped Salehi Crocs. Let's say mm -hmm. I did that. I'm already about 300 something deep, yep. you know, and then boom, the independent brand, which is fire, mm -hmm. drops there. That's they want the 280 one now. Yeah. That's the one you're going to cut. Mm -hmm. You're not yeah, going to yeah, cut yeah, your yeah, Jordan yeah. 1 or your Jordan 11 and your Pata mm -hmm. for the independent. Now, that's what they want. And I and I hope for that, you know, one day. Right. Even with Mosh. There's a few Moshes that have dropped that I was like, I love the Mosh I should have got the Pigeon one. I love the Mosh Runner. Yeah. And it's just a timing thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, dang. Like, when the Pigeon one dropped, you know what? I like when it, You know, I was like, I kind of fell off a bit a little bit. I liked it. And I, I like the midsole was gray. I was like, I don't know. And I was fine with missing on it because I knew more was going to come and whatnot. Right. But it was a timing thing more of anything. It was mm -hmm. like, damn, man, I just copped all these. That's like you Christmas say when, uh, when, uh, when what's it called? When you get loyalty access from from Kith, and they're always like, yeah, they always like kind of like, know when to pick their spots. Hey, you took L's on this, Have this right? Thing. Yeah, and a, and it's not a pre order from Kith, right? Timing and a pre order will make you do two different things. Mm -hmm. Because let's go ahead and say. And we're just using Mosh for an example. And Mosh knows I love his sneaker. And, he, and at first I didn't, but I love it. Mm -hmm. All right. And I think Mosh is, seems like a genuine cat. I like yeah. Mosh. You know yeah, what I mean? I like seeing people that are married and, you know, like seem like good cats, you know, what they're doing their thing and work their way up. If a Mosh dropped first come, first serve, it'd be hard for me not to cop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we are impulsive people in the sneaker community. Mm -hmm. Even though I cop Jordan 11's patterns and Salehis, oh shoot, I, I, I just go ahead and do it anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Versus a pre order, which I gotta wait eight to 16 weeks or whatever it may be. Right. So I don't know. I, I do hope they do good. I will tell you this though the name is. Whew. It's rough. It's a rough one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we've talked about this a long, long, long time ago. People thought I was crazy. I said the one thing I never liked about Under Armour was the logo. The logo. The UA? It seems. I like the logo. It seems ridiculous to say so, but it's something about it that just never looks right on sneakers to me. Also, this, the name. Nike. You know, Gucci. Simple. Louis, Asics. Reebok. Basic, you know what I mean? Adidas. It's like yeah. one word. Dizzy got it. I never heard. I watched the video and I was like, oh, thank God they pronounced it on the video mm -hmm. so I can come out here and say it right. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. I was like, oh, shoot, it means like fraternal, fraternal twins. twins. Yeah. Oh, like, you know what I mean? And it's like, yo, with them joints on your feet, then the Dizzy got it. Like, it doesn't flow. Got it. Dizzy. Even Diodora. Yeah, yeah, like it's certain ones that love. Now, Diodora has a history. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, they have a history. Maybe, you know, Dizzy Gothic can build a history and whatnot, but. Name is a little rough. It's a rough name. Mm -hmm. But I do like the product. You know, there's a lot of companies. I'll be honest with you. Like, I don't like Sneak This anymore. Sneak This, Sneak Podcast. I don't like that anymore. When you start something, what you always change come it to? with the name. Huh? What would you change it to? The podcast? It's up to you. Yeah. <sighs> I'd probably steal the sneaker podcast from somebody. You know? Man. I, I probably don't own it. I'd probably just steal it. <laughs> going on and looking for... It's as basic as you can get, and it's nah, straight to the point. Sneak, so. sneak diss is still good. Sneaker good, discussion is good. It was good. Like, yeah, but it was like, I'm thinking like, oh, I'm trying to be clever, like double on time. Just still sneak. clever. It is, but then it's like, ah. It's like when Rashu and it came on her like episode five. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, yeah, Rejuvenator. He, you know, it was like one of the things you start up and you're like, Rejuvenator and how it's spelled. Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like, oh, I don't know. But shout out to Dizzy Gothic. Hope for the best. I will be listening today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully can get on there. Hopefully Not Dave, uh, no, we will be fine. Hopefully Dave uh, puts it up like on YouTube or something like that. So that we could share that way if anyone misses oh, yeah, the discussion yeah, yeah, yeah. since, you know, they can go back and watch it later. Cause... So is it like anybody can participate in? Do you know or? You have to get the link from Dave. Well, I mean, like once you get the oh, link and get on there, uh, like a... I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm like, it's like a razor hand type I'm thing? I'm not what? sure. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Well, come out this week. You doing releases today? I'll do releases. Do releases. Noah Wilderness. What is that? All boot. those boots? Yeah. I thought those were Gucci when I saw them. They're kind of tight. They okay, but like, is it from the Noah brand or is it like Adidas? Mm, I think it's Noah. Oh, okay. So he crocs. Need. Need. <laughs> need. Need. Prices already dropping. 605 for the Browns. Good God. What are olives going for? I might pay it. I only want the olives. Oh, no. I'll take either one. The 10 is still $900. I'll take either one. I, I need them. So hold on. Let's say, do you do the raffle? 
Yeah. Okay. I did a thousand raffles. Let's say you and get them. And Packer, all of them. Uh-huh. Let's say you get them. Yeah. We've talked about this on this podcast, Thresholds. Yes. You get them for $85 and one, old, one shipped. Yep. Them joints is going for seven ninety on StockX or Go. Nope. Fam, what? I'm wearing. I want to wear them. <sighs> it's hot ten months out of the year, you Gregory. I'm gonna put them on my feet. And I'll, I'm gonna walk around in them. I want the shoe because I want it. And it was funny because Amber Amber's entering raffles too. <laughs> she's like, she's like. Why do they make so few shoes? They know this many people want it. That's stupid. I'm like, <laughs> so brand new to the culture. Why don't they just make more? It's of so stupid. I'm like, yes, I know. Thanks. <laughs> let me write that down. Yes, right. I mean, I'll, let me relay that. that. We'll that talk message. about that on the show. Yeah, yeah old topic. No, Why ble- don't they make more? Bless her heart. At least she's trying. You know what I mean? Right. Like, she's like, what other raffles are there? I'm like, I'm not gonna send you a whole thing of raffles. I, I'm in at least six of them. Six or seven of them. I only did the Crocs one. I didn't even know. But I didn't and even the do Crocs, the other one. End. I mean, you should have told me to do the other ones for you. I just, I, honestly, I, I thought you hated them. You hate everything. No, I don't hate everything. I mean, I put these in the same realm as a Yeezy Foam Runner. Yeah, but Foam Runners suck. Like, they're too different. No, all right. You sound like Blanc now. Blanc t- tried to tell me the same thing. No, and but they can't suck. Like, I said this. Oh, they can suck. Slides can't suck. They can suck. They can't They're bad. They can. And you know what? We see those pretty often, foam runners. I see those, like, TV. They're horrendous every time I see them. It's ridiculous. It's a house shoe. Like, I can't even really genuinely have an opinion on it. Oh, we will be doing sneakers. Sneak this sneaker category 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 reveal episode. The award show will be on the twenty eighth, mm, day before my birthday. Is it the 29th? Yeah, I thought it was January third. No, who's January third? I don't know. George, oh, no. you? George, October thirteenth of January. Fam Drew, when's Fam Drew's birthday? I don't know. Hmm. Probably whenever the Cardinals were started. <laughs> <laughs> yes, whenever they were founded. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh. Women's Air Jordan 1 Low, Black, University Blue. No. I'm just on the calendar. Anyways. Over breaks. Hot Curry and Armory Navy. No They're thanks. back. All right. Now um, those could fall under one of my categories. Over breaks? Maybe. Yeah, any categories. Maybe. Oh, I get. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Cause I'm definitely interested in what everybody else is going to have under these categories. Yeah. Because, like... When I wrote mine down, I was like, "They gotta have." What do you think of the year? I think I think it was, this was a good year. I think it oh, was a no, strong no, year. No, 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 one of the worst years of all time. No, it's not. One of the worst years, it, of, years of all time. There's no way no it's worse than 2019. You know, you know, there's no way it's worse than last year. Yeezy and Jordan had a really good year, though. I will say that. New Balance also had a good year. Mm-mm. Yes. No. Yes. No, it didn't. Yes, not, it did. not compared to last year, and not compared to the year before. Not even close. No, 2019, to New Balance ran stuff. Last yeah. year was bad, and now this, this year, year, this year they're back. Those previous two because their GRs are still. We were talking incredible. about. We were talking about. Well, not us, but people were like, "Yo, is New Balance coming for Nike?" People, that's how fire it was. It was obviously, New Balance's 2019 was obviously insane, people jumped out the window. 2021, no, was no, very no, good. No, no, yes, no. it was. A New Balance 2021 had too many 550s and too many 5740s or whatever that model was called. Way too many. Maybe way it needed too more 9 and ones. It needed. Oh, which one is that? Pata 991s. Oh, mm. may or may not. Yes, it was fire. And it had a Dude. lot of whack collaborations. A lot. That's the Leahy, that blow whistles and all that weird stuff. They were whack. The collaborations for New Balance this year the whistles, the whack of all time, though. The whistles one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen. Even if the shoe life. didn't have a whistle, I think the shoe was bad. Uh, I think so, too. Jordan 1, hi. Gore-Tex. No. Light boom. I like the dark ones, though. I did see some cats wearing them joints, jumping in water puddles, and they was like, these work. <laughs> <laughs> they work. He said, they're oh not even God. wet. He said, my feet not even <laughs> wet. I wish I had those when I was in Washington walking through the snow. You're right. You got there dashing Ferris. through the snow. Why in the world would you wear one horse Ferris Bueller's in the snow? It's all leather. Fam, what? that is a grail. Now, okay. I'm all for wearing your sneakers and doing what you got to do to them. But in yeah. the elements on purpose, is that ain't happening. It's not on purpose. It's a leather shoe. All the other shoes I had were... What else did I bring? So then what, is, what you're saying is you had no business bringing the shoes you brought. No. And that was the best out of the bunch you brought no. to wear in that kind of condition. It was a leather shoe. 
You just said you brought Yeezys and stuff. Yeah, you ain't wearing Yeezys in the snow. Absolutely not. So you had to choose the well, I, one. I prefer for to, my whole foot not to be soaking wet. You had to choose wet. the one. If I had Salehi Crocs, that's what would have been worn in the snow. No, no. That's a shoe for all elements. If you, that's a shoe for all you ages. You had to choose Ferris Bueller's. Yeah. You, out there, you are legendary dunks out there in the snow. I like Ferris Bueller's. Ass- yeah, they're legends. My favorite it's SB of all time. Of all time. You were in the snow. Yeah. Disrespectful. They look fine, huh? Nah, so I would rather see you hooping on this stuff. I'd rather see you actually skating. Well, I would, yes. Going out there in the elements Florida is irresponsible. No, it's not. It was fine. Right. Leavenworth is tight, by the way. Don't. Hmm? Leavenworth is tight. What the heck is that? It's a Bavarian Christmas town in Washington. Oh, it's went. a city. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was, it was a right. brand or something. It was a night there. No. Uh, Dunk Low Goldenrod. Need. Fire. Uh, you copping. You're literally like 150 on stock. Yeah, I know. Stuff. I'm like, I want to pay 150 because I'm anti paying that much for you know Nike Vans. But yes, I mean, I, you know what it is? The 150, I ain't mad at it. It's the it's coming after it. Mm-hmm. It's then like 178. I'm like, okay, fine, come 275. On. I ain't doing no. that though. Uh, MB01, not from here. It's the Mellow Ball Puma shoe. Do you like it? I don't hate it. I don't hate the shoe and I have a problem with it. It's going to be my problem with Puma for all time. They don't They don't care about it. Mm-hmm. Why should I? Fam. I, actually, I, I do. I think it's a good looking shoe. I think, I think it's, it's fine. a perfectly fine shoe mm-hmm. for a new, young, hot kid. My, my favorite players, Devin Booker. Right now, Devin Booker, Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball. Because they still think and act like it's cool to be better at basketball than everyone else. Correct. That's what I like, Correct. okay? Like, they care that they're better than everybody else. Mm-hmm. I like that. LaMelo Ball TV Puma commercial should be running. I'm talking non-stop on, I don't watch these channels, but like MTV, uh, uh, ESPN, mm-hmm. TNT, NBA, all them channels. I don't think I've seen one. Mm-hmm. I've seen a couple like print ads, a couple online looking ad things. Maybe yeah, like yeah. Movie. That stuff should be on there. I saw a, a Trey Young Adidas commercial mm-hmm. the other day. It was kind of cool and clever. I saw it once. I didn't see it again the rest Never of the night. Again. And I sat there and mm-hmm. watched, I think maybe Monday Night Football. I don't know what it was. Sunday Night Football, I don't know. But I was like, yeah. that's it? And I'm like, why is this on here one? Because it's Sunday Night Football. Oh, you know what? Maybe it was a Warriors Philadelphia game. I don't yeah, know what yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, off- I like them. Off white blazer, low white university. Uh, I think they got pushed back or canceled or something. They are horrendous too. Uh, Rest in peace to Virgil. And all day I. Um, Moabs limestone reflect silver mm-hmm. off noir. See if that once off you, noir. Was once you the original cut. Once you showed me like once I you kept making a big fuck about the shape of them, mm. and I was like, I mean, what does it make matter? Once I saw the difference, oh my god, it's embarrassing because we all had OGs. Mm-hmm. I should have never sold my OGs, never. and yeah, but like, oh, we I should have ne- never that. got rid of them. Though. You know what? They're it is? fire. Hold, so you know, like everybody losing their mind over cool gray Elevens. Mm-hmm. When did they drop last time? 2011. Don't you think people should still have them? Yes. I don't understand Where how they that go. works. Yeah. Now, <laughs> it was ten, I mean, let's be fair. That was 10 make a, years ago. It was, but I didn't really make a big deal about it because usually I make a big deal about like, Yo, where's the other ones at? It, like, it, and I'm, I'm like, pretty sure now, there's a lot of who've been in sneakers this long. That's what I'm t- Purging Jordans. Yeah, we You know what I mean? Did. Like Yeezy, Ultra Boost, NMD, like A6, like there there have been a lot of ebbs and flows of other brands that Jordans have just kind of been people just kind of been like I cuz I did it. I was like I have all these Jordans that I'm not going to wear. So, yeah, of course, but like go. I legit have certain ones that when they retro, I'm like I already I still got mine. Mm-hmm. I, I still got mine. I yeah. don't need I got the other one. I don't need mm-hmm. that. Like I still and I'm not talking about these new cats or like cats I don't even know on the internet. I'm talking about like cats that I know been in the game forever. It's like, yo, where your other one go? Right. Like, if Concord's dropped next year at some point, we fam. Should all still have Concord's. Somebody should. I'm like, mm-hmm. fam, y'all can't lose your minds again. Mm-hmm. I was legit shocked at people, how people lost their minds over Cool Grace. I don't like, understand it. I, I, I don't get it. Look, I will say this. 
I've seen a few fits, like, all right, they okay, they all right. Cougars 11, Cougar 11s are always fire. Damn, it's the, it's just the contrast of grays and gray patent leather. Like, huh, that's like what the man at the mortuary wears, like the, the pallbearer, gray, ugh. <laughs> yes, the pole. Them choices. Pallbearer. And whack may be Undertaker's strong, assistant. but out of all the 11s, no. they're the worst. Out of all the, like, original five, six that came out. It is not better than Space Jam. I don't like breads, though, so, I mean, I guess that's... Huh? Yeah, I don't like them. What the heck would you like about breads? Black and red. I don't like breads. Oh. I like Space Jams, though. I don't like breads. I mean, I they like look cheap. Talk I don't know. No, right, okay. Space Relax. Jams always look cheap. No, they don't. Space Jam always had a cheap no, look to them. they Yeah, don't. it did. Because you know what it was? That patent leather... When you could see the white around the patent leather sometimes, make it look cheap. <laughs> I hate right. that. Yeah. Absolutely not. 450 resin. Easy. Fire. But no. Dumpling. No, they're not fire. Fam, uh, you can't not like those. They suck. It's like a Nike Flight Knit. It just, it, no, it's not. A Nike Flight does not look like it's being attacked from the ground by one of those face huggers from see, Alien. You can't oh. do that. See, Why? Now, that shoe could be in, in a few categories. Oh, it could be in many a categories. I think I actually be in quite a few. <laughs> but see, you need to... You said you wore them on foot, right? Yeah. And look fire. No, they don't. Okay. See, you're just paying attention to the shape of it when you see it on a picture and it's like, mm, it look crazy. It looks crazy. You see it on foot? I've seen like, them in person. Oh, I've seen them on feet in person. There's only one issue with them. They're too much money. They are horrendous. They're $200. The big issue with them is that they suck and they're horrible. I'll and they look definitely like... Definitely take a pair of those. They dumplings. Fire. Uh, I'm not paying 200 for it. Soulfly, Air Jordan 1 Low Carnivore. I love and hate it. That painted toe box. I don't know if they suck or not. I, I don't cannot either. tell. I can't tell. Yep. I hate that painted toe box, like Tiger uppercuts, whatever on the front. I hate it. No. Tiger uppercut. I uh, hate that. Dame 8, Dame Time. <laughs> They're okay. Uh, no. Beluga. No, I'll save that because that's the next. Why are you going to bring thing. it up? No, no, no. That's the next. We're going to get to that. Uh, well, it's still coming out. You still got to say yeah. it. Yeah. Air Jordan 1, hi, OG crafted. Need it. Need. Need it. Mr. Unlocked posted a, like a maybe someone else's pick, so maybe his pick. Mm -hmm. A detailed look. Oh, my God. Them joints are fired. Terrific. Them joints it might be the Jordan 1 of the year, uh, to my opinion. Yeezy basketball knit. Slate blue. Eh. I need to see that. Yeezy's just be coming out of nowhere. I know. Those, the yellow weird one, and mm -hmm. then the, the boots, the both boots, like... I was gonna make a few. I, I feel like you know we've all seen like you know back when all the Yeezys were like laid in the street and you know samples and all this stuff. Right, right. right. But then they just be like, boom, they out. Uh, go and confirm that you're like, what the heck? Cause Yeezy supply. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, these joints is crazy. Like they come out now. These basketball these joints is way too much money. Yeah. Three hundred. Are they three? Three hundred. I don't even think lot. they're going for that. I cannot. There's no way. Three nineteen on that. goat. There's no way you can hoop in that. Uh, SB Dunk High Medium Gray. That's a woman's, ain't it? Nope. No. I, I have no desire for any dunks. In. Fire. I mean, it's a dunk. It can't suck. It can't suck. You're probably right. Uh, I think that's it until Christmas. Except for Beluga 350 V2. Reflective. I mean, you're trying to get those, right? Yeah. Do you still have the other ones? No. I wish I had Beluga 1.0s. I don't. <laughs> it's so but it's high interesting high. because... You know, I thought about this back when Undefeated 97s came out. And, uh, I don't know, things like Bacons, things like, you know. How do we feel when, like, our grails are suddenly, like, GRs? It's not the first time this happened. You know what I mean? Um... <sighs> Which I, I understand that the undefeated 97, that Complex Con one, is not the same as blah, blah, blah. But, like, they have, you know, Complex Con you know gold what ones it, and then gold toes. Yeah, but you like know that. what it is to me in situations like that, using the undefeated 97, thinking of, like, I guess, Bacons, mm -hmm. Lightning Fours, mm -hmm. stuff like that, to me, just shows that, like... We really didn't like it, huh? Like you, it was the era and the time. Like, th just think about it. A yellow four back in what? When that come out? Two thousand four. Two thousand four. Like, you know what it made me think of? Let's go back, 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 back. Let's go back to like Aqua Eights. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of people don't really think about this and remember this. When Aqua Eights dropped, I was in fourth grade. I don't know what grade you were in. When they dropped. No one really super focused on the fact that it was the very first colorway that dropped and it didn't match anything bulls. Mm -hmm. Like, 
it didn't matter because like the the smart because that was back during that era when like Charlotte Hornet colors were like mm -hmm. ooh starter so jackets. Like, they had a double thing because it was like oh Jordan's from North Carolina mm -hmm. and Hornet colors are in. like it was just the perfect play on it. Like it, I don't care what anybody think of Aqua Eights now. Aqua Eights to me are fire. Aqua Eights are incredible. Period. Mm -hmm. All right. The eight model on itself, eh, it is what it is. Maybe I'm not wearing it now, but like I still like Aqua Eight. I worked at the Suns game a few weeks ago. What'd you wear? Aqua, Aqua Eight? Eights, yeah. yeah. Like I, I like Aqua Eight. I was like, I don't have any purple. Like I don't have any purple and orange. So yeah. What, so it's like wear? you know what I mean. But like when it comes to you know like Lightning Fours, man, a yellow Jordan was like, whoa. Now I remember when Tokyo Fives came out. Was that after or before? That was uh, uh, Tokyo Fives were 2011. So it's like we lost our minds for it. Then South like South Beach. Tokyo eights. fives are still fire. Huh? Tokyo fives are still fire. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Damn. Yes, no, it's it not. is. Yes, no, it is. No, it's not. Wait, let it retro. It is. No, not. it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. I would cop if it retro. I think. Do you like fives better than fours? Uh, no. But I like Tokyo fives better than I like lightning fours. What? The, what? Yeah. What? What? Why? I don't. Know. It's the same shoe with a different model. No, it's not. It's okay. the same shoe with a different model. There are a lot of things that we thought we liked that we just really didn't to me. It was just hmm. like, a, no, no, we did for the time. They just didn't really like age well. It was like, Lightning Fours are coming back neat. Oh, my God. Then they come back and we like, oh, you know, yeah, they fire. Yeah, they fire. They cool. You know, I got a pair. I got a pair. But like, you know, like them joints just retail, under retail. You yeah. know what I mean? Bacon's, Bacon's. Before they came back out, if you did a top 10 Air Max 90 list. Bacons are at least two. A lot of people mm -hmm. would have them in two the Two or 10. one. I don't, wherever they it's had It's number them, one to me. Wherever they had Bacons, mm -hmm. they were in top 10s. Mm -hmm. Everybody's top 10 who like 90s. It wasn't, no, none. Maybe it's mine. Everybody's top 10. Now them joints is like. 110, 150. They regular. Think about clot. Oh yeah, clots. That's Clot, another good one. What is the Clot Air Max? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fam, come on, them joints. I would have. I consider them legendary. Mm -hmm. Regardless, if you like a clear box and all the legendary, them joints come back out again. Fam, them joints are under retail and came out with other colorways, and it was mm -hmm. still like a brown one, and it was like ill. Yeah. Like it's amazing, like how that happens, and you're like, all right, you know, maybe it ain't as fire as we thought, or it was just for the time. What's a like, shoe? What do you I, think is a shoe that that would like counter that? Because, I mean, if I if a pitch and dunk you, high dropped, I mean, I think everybody would lose their shit. You think so? If a skunk low dropped, I think everybody would lose their shit. And then maybe that's different because they're SBs. Mm -hmm. If a I Ferris low so. dropped, people would lose their shit. Well, I think any of the OG ones that we consider legends dropped, we would lose our minds for them. I mean, a skunk. Now... They're taking a really long time for some type of variation of skunk. Like, they won't even drop a... Sherby Cuffs. What is that supposed to be? That's a that's, skunk? That's a 420 oh, shoe. Oh, they came out with that purple that purple skunk. Yeah. But it didn't hit like it should have. Strawberry Cuffs are, are like... Pfft. I don't know if they're whack, but... Uh... I don't mind seeing people wear them. I don't know. It's really hard to explain, man. Like, there's just a lot of things where, like, I'm glad I could look at them and be like, oh, them George is fire, but, like, I didn't need them. I didn't cop them. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy Miami Knights. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy South Beach 8. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy Sprite. I didn't buy any of those that, like, we would have lost our minds on. Them. Yeah. Lightning Forest was a must. Like, it was like, a, and the friend was like, oh, I got you got Lightning Forest. Mm -hmm. Still paid for them, but it was like, oh, cool. And yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Now, I was upset at how much they cost. You know, I thought mm -hmm. it was a lot. Um, but like you know, we got things like the Ben Five Pack, I, like the Ben the Ben Collection. Mm -hmm. If Ben's dropped, them joints will be whack. Yeah, but now. Ben's aren't. Them Ben don't really talk about Ben's like they that aren't don't us because for some odd reason, Ben Collection just always felt like lux, mm -hmm. and it was rare to see. I and mean, when you did, and that what it was supposed to be nine, supposed yeah, to be like I don't know, real lux and. But like if those drop right now, they, they no one cares. Hmm. Doran Becker's like a Doran Becker four right now. You don't think there's a kid who's like sick, like yo, just retro the Doran Becker, and like they did it, and we wouldn't. Look we what, wouldn't lose look our what shit. happened when they retro the Doran Becker six. People started going like, "These is kind of whack." No, nah, I don't do yeah, that. I still need no Doran Becker sixes are whack. Nah, like, Doran Becker when sixes they are first fire. when we, when the Doran Becker collection we were younger and we was like, "Ooh, six was always one of the high ones." Six mm -hmm. threes, fours. Six three four. Up yep. There. 
When they retro the six, it was like, yeah, they got whack. The colors. No, I like this. I still tried. I legit think if fours, if uh, if, uh, Darren Becker fours drop, I think no one care. I don't. I I, they would care, but I don't think it would hit like a thousand. What do DB fours go for now? I mean, them joints are like astronomical. I think. Yeah. Them is almost crazy. Like, you know, peak legend status. You Mm. know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't know, man. Now, Beluga's coming back out. So let's talk about that too. So like the recycling of themes. Yeah, it's kind of lead into that. Questionable collaborations, weird stuff like that. You made a really big deal in a text thread about salmon toes coming out in a gel life five. I did. I mean, I oh, just sure. you know what should we do sneaker categories? Yeah, let's do let's let's do the let's categories. Do sneaker award we'll categories first yes. before we get yes. to that. Yes. yes, let's do that first. All right, so derail in the pot here. Sneak this sneaker award categories, mm. and we're still doing five sneakers each, right? And it's a democracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because I'm sure each. five sneakers each between four people, we're still gonna have right. We're so, gonna have most of them by the time we get to someone else. So we would do five sneakers each. We'd have to agree on it. If we weren't sure, we put it to the side, mm-hmm. and would be five sneakers to total for people to vote on. Right. All right. December twenty eighth is when that's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. First category. Rookie of the year. Cut these down to, man, we had 14 categories last year. Mm -hmm. We're down to 11. 11. Yep, we did it. Rookie of the year. Do you have anything? Like I said, I'm going to say one. You know, I'm like, I don't care. You say one and I'll say one. I'm going to say one. I have Adidas Pharrell Sachonas on there. And I think those are extremely fired. Mm-hmm. The problem with those are sort of like the Yeezy, the ones you call dumplings. Mm-hmm. You look at them and they're like, what the heck? You put no, them on your foot? I think, Ooh, nah, they fire. I think Sichonas are better than dumplings. They fire. Uh, but I think that's the rookie mm. of the year to me. Rookie of the year. Crocs Polex. <laughs> I need it! Can't yes! Yes, no, I can. No. Oh, don't do that. You you consider that enough of a shoe to put in like awards? <sighs> You think so? That means you must got foam runners somewhere in this list, or you're gonna have it on yours as whack as foam runner. Yeah, but I don't. I don't consider it's a sixty dollars shoe. Oh, that sucks. You really that doesn't mean it doesn't suck. No, that yeah, doesn't but mean I it don't doesn't consider suck. It enough of we a had shoe. KFC Crocs one year on wackest list. That no, still sucks. Didn't. Yes, we did. Someone brought it up. We, yeah, we talked about it, but it didn't get put on there. All right, that stuff is like KFC Crocs suck. Yeah, Regular Crocs suck. So Leahy Crocs that that's are unbelievable. Like them is, that's them is Spencer. Like nobody took that serious. <laughs> like it's like you know what I seen um like sock jig or uh, post like Kerwin Frost horse. That yeah, I feel count. like that that, that doesn't count. That, yeah, that goofy. Too much. Like it's like man, that doesn't even count. That's just some goofy nonsense. Mm-hmm. I don't even. Qualify. That would win though, probably. Yeah, that's so why it's like you know what mm-hmm. you can't do. Like it, no, because every time we do this and you go through StockX, go whatever mm-hmm. you want to look for the sneakers for to come out the year, I see some stuff that like I had never even seen before. You know, mm-hmm. and never talked about. Like there's a lot of them Reebok Ghostbusters and stuff. I'd be like, yo, this came out. This sucks, yeah, but I'm not yeah. gonna bring it up because it's like no one knows it. Like, it sucks, and out. we don't. It didn't mm-hmm. exist to me. You know, um, the next category, which is always our favorites, underrated sneaker of the year. Now. Underrated to me doesn't mean it's fire. It also doesn't. It, it, it's a variation of things. Right, right, right. To me, it ain't just price. It ain't mean like it, it's a few things. Right. I have pink pigs as B dunks because if there's a dunk that I feel like should be up there around the four or five hundred, it w- should be that one hmm. or the three fifties. I got them joints for under retail at sneaker con. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is about this pink suede shoe that everyone's like, nah, I don't get it. That's that's a shoe I don't think about really. I don't know why. Do you I, have it? No. That joint is unreal fire. Yeah, I know. That's what that's one of mine. Hmm. Might be on oh, this could change. That's another one of mine. This might not be on there. This might not be on there when I'm, uh, I'm saying yeah, it now. All it of might the not. This is subject to change. Subject to change. What did you, what did you say? Underrated? Oh, I Krusty Burger Adidas are fire. I'm not gonna lie to you, they're co- fire. They come with a lot of stuff too. So. I went on I went on uh the app today, it's still on there, and I was like, still on there. They yeah. got nine and a half. Oh my god, they had eight. And have mm, no nine, no ten, no eleven. Rough. I was like, yeah. ten. them joints I are caught fire. I copied the restock. Bro. They're fire. The fact that like, I like the fact that you can look at it and you can feel the crusty, the mm-hmm. crown. 
but it's not too much. And like a giant clown head, it ain't something goofy. Right, right, right. I like the thick Just lines enough. that like, it's sort of like when you color and mm-hmm. you like outline it, then yeah. you color inside. That thick line, that I, I love that. Them joints are. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie. To there's you, a lot of material. There's yeah. there's a lot of materials on that shoe too that were really really surprising. Overrated sneaker of the year. Oh boy. Now this one I brought up last episode when you know I said patterns. If it were up to me, I'd have like 35 shoes on this list. Based off it's of bad. what though? So that's the thing. George thinks overrated based I, off of like it's too I much money. I think when I think overrated, I think a shoe that. Everyone loses their minds for that's like, why you guys? Well, like, uh, I mean, salmon you, toe gel eight fives. No, we know what the no, salmon no, toe no, is. No, 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 we no, know no. what it looks like. You can't do that. It's just on a different model. Why are we losing our minds here? Because why? for what? Well, there's only it one reason why every I agree five with that. years. Well, we'll get to recycle things yes. and stuff. Okay, but but that's one that's that is a lock for I, my list. I got Air Max Pata. The Pat MX ones. Like, Mm-mm. when you get them, it's like, oh, I just got an Air Max one with waves. It's not like a groundbreaking. It isn't, you know what I mean? But we lost our mind. Just that simple. I still think it's good. It's, I it's, think it's a really, really dope, good shoe. But I just don't think it's as dope as it should be. Shout out to the homie. I saw him cop. They're sitting on the shelves. He cop two military discount. And he's just like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I can't remember his name on IG. Is that the main sneaker holic? Oh no. yeah, M- major recovering hook. sneaker holic. Oh no, we're talking about uh, the no, no, somebody else. But he did too. Um, collaboration of the year. I got Vans undefeated. Why? I got the gold ones, which I forgot to say the other week. Um. I appreciate a good Vans collaboration. Hmm. For some odd reason, them little U-men in the background make them joints fire to me. Now, I'm not saying this is going to stay on the list. Mm -hmm. I also kind of thought Salmon told Gel Life Eyes. Not saying that's going to be part of mine, but I like the Vans. I think it's one of the better collaborations. Now, obviously, there's plenty of other ones, but I got them somewhere else. Collaboration of the year. Crocs (laughs) Salim. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Oh, Lily May, 14th. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. That might be somewhere else on my list. Fire. That's a really good one. Mm-hmm. The next category will be other brand. Now, we did remove New Balance this year, which I guess was a good we got there. point. I yeah. think we've gotten there with New Balance because I will say I have an easier time of thinking of New Balances than Adidas. Mm-hmm. Like, when you think of Adidas, I think of just the Yeezys. I, I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't like yeah. Adidas is rough. I can't jump off like I almost forgot about Sachonas. You know what I mean? Like they don't make enough impact. Mm-hmm. You know, like they used to NMDs, all that type of stuff. Just doesn't. Hit. I have one shoe on that list so far for Adidas. I have the one, and I feel like it should win, but it may not. Mm-hmm. Like, and I feel like it should have been underrated as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but for other brand, other brand, yeah. I got Marsh Runner St. Charles. Uh, to me, it's one of the better looking green sneakers I've ever seen in my entire life. And I would do that one or even the tie dye one, whatever that was. Mm. I, w- I would. Them joints, and that's for other brands. Now, other brands, what does that include? Because New Balance is out, so we talk about Saucony, we're talking Deodora. about Deodora, we're talking about like, anything. Deodora had some hitters. Spe- anything. Okay. Deodora Might not make the list. Did? Deodora Hasbro collection. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Why? That was whack. No, it wasn't. It was whack. What? Man. It was whack. How? I thought I They tried. didn't do anything. It was boring. Huh? So it was not boring. They took the colors on the board. You can't they do didn't that. put they didn't put boardwalk and park place on the shoe. No. They were just like, hey, this is the color palette of the game. Slap Monopoly on the back. It's fire. It's a very well executed collab. And a great shoe from an other brand in 2021. That pack is No, is incredible. that what you have written down? Uh it's that you should have whatchamacallit? The Saucony food one. Food fights are on there too. That joint, I saw that in first. are great. Yeah. That joint is fire. I got them All right. from Period. Yeah. All right. They're good. I saw- I almost mentioned that one. Uh, Mr. But Jones Kicks wearing them. Oh, my I want to talk about- God. Uh, yeah. I, I, Has, Hasbro's good, dude. It's a good it's shoe. It's not good It is. Though. It is. It's not it is. good enough. It is. Deodora has some stuff. I went on Deodora website, and I saw some stuff that I didn't even know exists. Mm-hmm. There's this one shoe that looks like React 87s. They, it looks just mm-hmm. like them. It's just fire. Now, they look like React 87s, but I'm like- Man, when does this come out? Well, yeah. I've never seen this before in my life. Mm-hmm. Theodore doesn't do enough to me either. There's brands out there they do with col- hitters. They do collabs. 
Yeah, but most, like most of the time, that's the stuff that people pay. That's attention where, to. like, you know what it's like, like the pitch warrior and the alternative <laughs> route, which is fire. I still need it because I have the other two. But I need more from these companies, man. They gotta, they gotta push themselves forward, man. To me, Puma and stuff. Come on, you got the youngest, coolest cat in the game. Got the Charlotte Hornets looking like a contender every night like come on man you're like one of the most flamboyant looking kids i mean come on man uh wackest sneaker of the year this, this was easy for me easy for me too this was easy what you got with one of them you got that might make your award show I can't even say it apparently it doesn't count where did this whole slides not counting thing from come from well, fam come on now. you really want to do that so would you consider it? Yeezy Knit Runner. The one that looks like egg yolk. I'm like, you know what? That one is more of a shoe, I guess, but it has no functionality. It's nothing. Now, the price of it makes it like, well, it I'm enjoying this. It could be nothing, but it sucks. But, like, let's say it was fire. Would you consider it a sneaker of the year? I mean, if it's fire, yeah. What if foam runners? I have that shoe that can no oh, longer okay. be named because I talked oh, about it too on. much on the show already. Would you call? This sneaker of the year what a, contender. A s- what? Salehi Bimberries? That's not a sneaker. Fam. You out of control. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Whack Fire, huh? Clot Sakai Vapor Waffles. The that that oh that color blocking was some of the worst I've ever seen I in my entire life. Still sitting on sites. Yeah. One of the worst color blocks. Sitting on sites with 20, 30% off. That's a good one. I didn't even think about that one. Horrendous. Them is definitely making my list. Uh, the other one I have is uh, Don't say them all. Okay. Unless you're gonna change them. Jordan of the Year whistle. Oh yeah, I know that's making. I was like, that has to make the yours. Wor- it's one of the most embarrassing things that, I've ever seen that, in my life. That category might be the hardest for us because I feel like legit everyone there's, we all say so, we think they're mm-hmm. all whack. Like we're not gonna say like ah, it's not that whack. Like yeah, yeah, them yeah. joints are whack. They all suck. Jordan of the Year, I got the Lily May fourteen. <sighs> I do. The only other, other ones that could. The only other one I could think of is probably Pollens. I think it. Probably should be considered. A good shoe. There's another one though. The 14 crafted. Level? No, oh, the oh the clot. Yeah, that's a good one too. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's gonna be on. I mine. forgot about that. I forgot that was this year. Um, <laughs> Nike of the year. Mm-hmm. Now we we combined dunks this year. All right. So last right. year we had retro of the year and we mm-hmm. had Nike of the year. We had dunk of the year. We got rid of all that. All of we them. combined Nike combined and Combined forces. And we combined Adidas and Yeezy. Mm-hmm. All right. Jordan brand, I thought about combining, but that's too many. Too like much. it's n- Nike. And Jordan does a lot of stuff on its own. It so. does a lot of stuff. But Yeezy, t- mm-hmm. it is. A, mm-hmm. um, what you got for Nike of the year? Stussy Hirachi. Stussy Hirachi. The brown. Because of Stussy Hirachi. And then the the green and yellow. Oh, and then the brown. What? Really? Yeah, they're fire. They fire, but of the year? Yeah. Nike of the year. Look. I, I couldn't think of a whole lot. My my selections are still not finished. You couldn't think of a lot for that? I just was trying to avoid dunks. Yeah, me too. But I could not. Nike Saquon trainer three. So. I thought about that too. <laughs> Joints are fire. Too. Have you seen him in person yet? No. Okay. Them joint all picks I've seen on foot. Fire. Mm-hmm. Anything I've seen? Fire. Yep. Prices, just through the roof. I can't do it. Yeah, ridiculous. I'm not paying 330 340 for a trainer. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not even a cowboy. It's a giant, you know, but them joints is fire. Yeah. Adidas of the year. I got my bait superstars. Yep. My camo one. I or I, I put the camo one because it, like, looks more bait. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I saw a lot of guy. I didn't want to put Sechonas. That's all I have to. I, that's you a might hard to. one. I we might, might have, have to. to. Yeah. That's a hard one. I mean, I mean there's other e- I mean, there's Yeezys like... What's the the yellow? If you want to say the yellow wave runner, whatever it's called, sunshine. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And then the, the gray one, but they're all that model, and they all yeah. that. Like, mm-hmm. I can't think of any three fifties. I would add. Mm-mm. I almost added the new basketball one today just cause. I was Reflective. Like, oh my god, beluga. Beluga maybe. <laughs> it might have won a Dennis of the year. <laughs> it came out. <laughs> that already. I don't know. Zebras did. New Balance. This is the new category. New category. I feel like New Balance has. I think cemented. I think its New Balance. Spot yeah. To where it's like New Balance had a really good year. This year? Yeah, no. you look at the GRs. You look at too much name... of collabs and stuff. No, no, yeah, no, no. The yeah, GRs yeah, yeah. were like. Nah, the GRs are good. They just dropped the 1500 that is 
up there. The 990 V2. No, it's like green. It's like green and blue. Probably it's hard to talk about them because like they don't have like they don't have like nicknames. You know what I mean? Like when you say Jordan One Pollen, you're gonna be like, oh, that 990 V2. That's multicolored. What you got oh, to do about it? I didn't write it up yet, but I mean, obviously, I got one that f- could fall in a couple categories. Mm-hmm. I got bricks and wood. 50, oh yeah, 40. that's a good one. That to me will most likely that's fall. A good one. Under I my think uh, collaboration. I think Pat and nine nine ones, Slam Jam nine nine ones were also those are better really, really than good. I thought. Mm-hmm. I saw those in person at SneakerCon. Better than I thought, mm-hmm. but the model is. Ugh. Some of I the like models this year man. from New Balance, I don't know, no. man. And, and and I'm not familiar with a lot of models. Like some of these, I'm like, are these new models mm-hmm. or are these like like the whistle one? Is that a new model? It's a brand brand new model. Yeah. Okay. Now the one with the Stone Island, I think those are fire. It's not a new model, but they redid it. The, they um, fall on the fuel uh, cell. No, 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 no. It's called like the Stone Island. Is that what's called new fuel balance? cell? Fuel cell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Elite RCs mm-hmm. or something. Okay. Yeah. Now I was like, is this a new model? I think them joints are fire. It's a runner. It's a runner, but and that's I look at the other ones, and they don't look nothing like yeah, it. Yeah, George, George and I talked about it in the text. I mean, I guess we'll get to this, but I, I, I have it right now and overrated just because I don't understand why Stone Island would – why they would do, like, a technical runner. Like, why – why would you collab and then do a tech runner instead of like a nine nine seven or? You think it's uh, overrated? Yeah, I don't know who it's like overrated by though. I, I, nobody talks about them. I just they, I don't. They don't. They, don't, they exist. It could have. They could have talked about them. I just don't understand why. Um, Am I, in camera? I just yeah yeah yeah. You're in camera. Oh, okay. I just don't understand why. You're just a little to the right. I just don't understand why. Um, yeah why why they would collab and do a tech runner and not like, like nine ninety right? <laughs> and not like a nine ninety v two or. <laughs> You're good. Or like a 1500 or something. You know what I mean? Like, I just didn't, I don't know. I don't understand. I like them. I think they're high. I did. Obviously, they're high. Once Stone I, Island, everything is high. Once, I mean, high. Like, high. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, because it's a, run, it's a it's, runner. Yeah, it's supposed to support. When I looked it up to see if it's a new model, I was like, wait a minute. This exists in but, like a bunch of other looking mm-hmm. things or whatever. Uh, New Balance of the Year. Yeah. They're, new Balance had a lot, a lot of good stuff this year. They did. I, I mean, did. look, you can't go wrong with it. They came out. I, I don't understand, like, why with the 550s, none of the GRs are appealing to me. Mm-mm. None of them. But I don't know And why. I, um, when I went to Washington, Los had, like, GR pairs. And, oh, my He God. had them? Yeah, he has them. Oh. I, the, ugh, the quality is horrendous. I don't know what Compared to is. the ALD one, it's it's horrendous. It's bad. <laughs> All of them, like, any ones as a collaboration, I'd be like, ooh, I might I might get these. Mm-hmm. That was a size one, too, wasn't there? They're, they're coming out. Oh, okay. They did, like, the, the ARC 1300, like, colorway on a 550, which okay. I think, eh, it's okay. I don't know, man. They came out with, like I said, too many 550s. I might be too many 50s. Too many 5740s. Mm-hmm. Too many something. Huh? I said a lot of 5740s. Oh, okay. You don't even like those. You don't like them? Uh, no, I think they're good. You think I only have one colorway. I only have the OG colorway. I don't have anything yeah, else. Yeah, I only have like the black mm-hmm. and maybe the white one too with yeah. the rainbow colors. I probably should have waited. Um, I do want those yellow and green ones. They're cheap. Like I like those. For some yeah. Reason, but they're like they're good. very packer. Um, sneaker of the year. Now I'm going to say the obvious to, one on there. To me, it's it's really just who's coming in second. Like who we're discussing who's coming in second here. You know what I mean? Because- you know. Obviously, I, I mean, they were talking about I'm a man it's, three. It's so, now, so far and away. Here's the thing, though. I haven't seen nobody make these look fire besides Ruby one time. They look like girl sneakers, and I don't see a lot of girls wearing them. Every single guy I've seen wearing them, I've never thought, like, oh, they look fire. Not one time. None. At all. About the shoe itself, man. I don't, that's the only reason why, like, the shoe in hand, yeah, it's just it's, so nice. It, it's, it meets every single checkbox mm-hmm. you could think of as far as a sneaker. Mm-hmm. Um, and other ones, I'll be honest with you, I can't think of many others. Uh, I don't know about you. Like, any other that I would be, like, not necessarily in competition with it, but just in general. Just who's coming in second. I, I like padded I, dunks. I think padded, par dunks, whatever they the are. List. Are underrated. Like Protection Pack 2002. Protection Pack could They're maybe. So good. But that and all of them, like even like even though the gray is like obviously 
like the one grays are six hundred and fifty dollars. The now. best one. It is the best one. But I still I think the white ones and the black like they're all still good. Problem is with the other ones, it's not a contrast of like mm-hmm. you can't tell the white ones are like ripped up or mm-hmm. whatever they are. And uh it should have been I white, think, uh, gray, light gray. It Mac, should've like the dude Mac Macism, yeah. he wore he wore the white ones to sneaker con. They're pretty fire. I like them. Yeah. I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. And that could also be a new balance of the year. It could be, Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be mad at it for sneaker of the year. Now, I'm interested to see what everybody else has to bring in here with regard to sneaker of the year. So, those are the categories. Just to recap, rookie of the year, underrated sneaker of the year, overrated sneaker of the year, collaboration of the year, another brand. Other brands meaning independent brands, you know, your Sockenies, your Deodoras, your Asics, I guess you want to throw it in there. Mm -hmm. New Balance is... Made its way out of that. Wacky Sneaker of the Year, Jordan of the Year, Nike, Adi- Nike of the Year, Adidas of the Year, New Balance of the Year, and Sneaker of the Year. 11 categories. This will be December 28th. For our episode, Income. No. Yes. It's going to be high it's awards and buy. Huh? <laughs> I went back and looked at that. I was like, fam, I know we did not do two. Four podcasts. hours We last took an time. intermission. I got mm-hmm. it was like a block. I was like, no, no, yes. no, no. Never. Split it up into two episodes Never. for the fans, for the listeners. Never listen again this part in my life. Uh, this time, bro. and then listen to this part next week. By the time er, we got to the awards, it was like it was like eight o'clock. When it we got was to the awards late. Yeah, it was um, like, you're still fucking there. Yeah, I recycling am. of themes, and yes, stuff like that, which okay. we had talked about, and, and questionable collaborations. And I wanted to add that too. I mean, questionable, questionable why. All right, well, let, let, let's recycle I had recycle Rich some stuff Paul first. thing on the list. Okay. Yeah. I had that, you know, type stuff. Um, so, like I said, we said, I mentioned earlier, like, you had kind of whatever, made a big deal about them, I guess, recycling the theme of Salmon Toe with Gel mm-hmm. Light Fives or whatnot. Now, I understand, like, half and half why you made a big deal about it. The only reason why I'd be like, okay, that is a little corny or lazy corn, whatever you want to call it, is because they already did a 2.0. <laughs> So they have the original. Like five years ago. They have the they, original, they, they, they have the 2.0. 2.0, and then now they're doing a Gel Life 5. Why is that it's so just like it's going to be every five years, you're going to put it on a, yeah, a 90 but V2, don't you're you going to put it on that, a... Don't you look at that as like giving people the opportunity who will never have a shot at the other ones? Now... Uh, and it's not whack. For, for it me, whack, like... I get it. The Salmon Toe 1.0 is my favorite shoe of all time, Period. The Gel Eight Three is my time? favorite model. That is my favorite shoe of all time. Period. I don't think I'm, I've ever heard you say that. Before. I'm never gonna own the shoe. I'm kind of okay with. I'm okay, never gonna own the 2.0. shoe. But man, two point are a thousand dollars now. Like they are. Yeah. Oh, I looked the other day. I was like, holy that. shit. Um, but I just I don't. I just don't understand why do this and not something new. Like, he apparently has a 990 V4 that's like a Daytona colorway, and it's like, fam, why? Like, I said in the thread, the last, to me, the last great Ronnie Fi collab was the 700, the New Balance 1700, the colorist. Do you remember that? Shoe? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With Incredible. Little, little tiny pop yeah. Bump thing. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. The color blocking was fire. It did. But the color blocking was fire. The materials were fire. And, like, I mean, obviously it sold out instantly, but, like, people didn't really care after that. And I don't understand why. We've brought that up a lot on this podcast in certain categories. Like, I think it came brought up in collaborations Mm -hmm. and new balances and stuff like that. But, But still, it hasn't, like, stood the test of time like some of his other stuff. Now, like, I mean... I guess I can understand a little bit more, like throwing steel blue on like every New Balance and just being like, "Oh, hey, but that's just go. a color." Yeah, it ain't like a theme. I mean that, but that was the that was his nine 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 club from a million like, years ago. I I just don't I don't get like the Tokyo right based kind of on the two fifty two, but he still switched it up in some way. You know what I mean? Like, right. if he did something like that, like, even when, like, Cove, Gel Light, Cove and Mint Gel Light 5s came out, like, uh, even then, I was like, okay. Like, well, I, I mean, guess so. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I still tried for him. I still wanted him, but cause you, I, you, I just don't understand why, if you're going to do something like that, that, you know, that brings back, you know, 2011 and those, those memories of those collabs, like, why why not do something different? Like why not tweak it in some way? Why are you just gonna well, he did it copy with this and put it here? 
like I I mean well, the, yes, but the 2.0 I understand a little bit more. It's like that 2.0 fine. You need the color midsole to kind of separate it. 5 year anniversary yeah, 5 year anniversary of the shoe. Like totally cool. Like I get it. I mean, I you just, gotta know that like Miami and the Knicks colorway never coming back. They're gonna come back in July five. You know they are. Look, I understand it when it comes to Ronnie Feig and Kith and maybe even concepts. I understand it when it comes to like those areas of like recycling those themes only because. You got to think back when those came out. It was a select group of people who really appreciated that. Now, everybody has an appreciation for those. Regardless as if you was even into that stuff back then, you have an appreciation for it. I think I would, I'm glad they did that versus retro it. I don't want a retro salmon toe or a re- I don't want legendary retro right. anymore. Right. Like, they're not. Jordan ones and not mm-hmm. that but like to me there are certain ones that are cool like you said you'll make a variation or switch the model cool you could have easily put a salmon tone like a different model that could have ruined it but mm-hmm. the Jelly 5 is a, one of the most fire you don't like Jelly 5s? no I like Jelly 5s I do. Fire. I do so it's like it didn't do my it my best pick up this year is a Jelly 5 it didn't do yeah you got lavas you didn't, it didn't Volcano. do an injustice yeah. I thought an injustice was done with lavas putting it on a Jelly 3 yeah even Jelly then, I was like, "Man, why?" Yeah, did you feel the same way about that? Yeah. Did you cop? No. Oh, okay. I I copped the Jelly Five. Right. Well, I mean, like that came out way before you yeah, got Jelly yeah. Five. I just it it's just self elating. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, that was cool, man. Like you did that, <laughs> and he's just kind of like. Hey, remember the salmon toe? Remember when I did that, you guys? Here's a Jelly 5 to remind you guys that I did that. Look at how legendary I am. Look at me go. So remember that- when he did Daytona 1600s? Those are fire, right? Here's another 990 here, you guys. Remember how, how good I am? So the, do you feel that same way about, like, they make a bread 5? No, well, I'm trying to think of, like... No, I, I know what you mean, because I was thinking about that, too. Like I was like, Beach. if they put something like... Like a Jordan 4 with, like, a royal blue outsole, a white midsole, and, like, blue on the toe box with the black. Like, just made it a royal. You know right. what I mean? Would that bother I'd... you? Maybe. See, I think, like, well, what about, like, when they put on, like, uh, ACG LeBrons? Like, you know, or I mean, they I always make thought a, they were kind of doofy. They make like... a South Beach 19. Well, you but, know what I mean? That's kind of what it makes, what it made me think of, too, was like, because way back in 2011, like through 2014, South Beach colorway was everywhere. Was the solar every red model. colorway was everywhere. everywhere. Red October colorway, colorway was everywhere. everywhere. Nike ID in. Yeah, Yeezy colorways, Vault, left, yellow, right, and center. It's Vault like we, was every Vault, yeah, it's like you can't escape it. I, I just like doing like new stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's as like, easy as people think to do new stuff. Though. Probably this, not. Like, but you know what it, this is the business that you're in. Like that's where I, it made me think of like questionable collaborations as well. I feel like this year there's been a lot of like collaborations I thought was like whack and a lot of whack ideas. Now I don't know how you feel about it, but it, and we talked about it on this podcast like concepts being on the clock when it comes to like their themes on their stuff. concepts. <sighs> concepts. <laughs> They haven't had a good collab, and they haven't had oh. one in a while. You know what's funny? Oh, they getting ready to drop a nine nine two. Oh, they are. I oh, think I'm so. thinking. I'm talking about like what's this week? It's like Birkenstocks, but the like. Oh the yeah, one? with the fur. I like that. The linen. I love yeah. those. But like Traducans, mint juleps, or whatever mm-hmm. that drink was. Um, it's been bad. It's been, it's a, been a few rough, really run. bad ones. And yeah. you're like, they're not even like, you You give them the benefit of the doubt because they're concepts. Like, yeah, you know. We've been giving them the benefit of the doubt for it's been a, a while. long Luckily, time. they've already reached legendary status, you know. Yeah. But it's been for a long time. Kip is consistently but at least, dropping some you know, fire stuff, though. And even, like, yeah, concepts hasn't been good in several years. At least they're doing stuff. At least they're trying different things. You know what I mean? Like, at least they're not, oh, Kennedy 997. 
oh, Kennedy 990v3. Like, you know what I mean? Like, at least they're not. I'd be camped. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. At least they're not, you know, they're not doing C-Note 990v2. Like, at least, at least they're still trying to, like, the creative Gosh, what they stuff doing? is flowing for like concept lobster, still. Lobster high? <sighs> you would hate it? I honestly think I'd I would probably hate try that. to cop. Of course. I was you know, I was, I was in. I think I'd actually hate that. I was movie. in my Facebook Messenger thing. I was scrolling through it. Fam, I almost bought Red Lobsters for like 250 bucks, like three years ago. <laughs> you and said, I, I asked him wow. to send me pictures and he did. And then I like never got back to him. And I was like, oh shit. Look at you. Yeah. Dumb. I looked through stuff like that. They didn't have none of like, like the rubber bands. They didn't have a box or anything. I, I like, look oh, back shit. at the stuff I sold. Like I had Pigeon, yeah. New Balance. What was that Pigeon New Balance model? Oh, the 575? Yeah. Oh, those I are loved fire. that. Fire. I'm talking, I yeah. loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't awesome. know why I sold it. It was one of those mm-hmm. like, eh, you know, I got a good way. Hyper Cat New it. Balance. That was the one for me. Hyper Cat. I should have never sold. Daytonas I've sold. I've oh, you sold, sold Daytona? I bought Daytonas. I had bought a, years ago. a eight and a half for whatever reason. I think I mixed up a UK size. I don't know what it was. Mm-hmm. And then I traded them for Those a nine. Those were super small. Yeah, and I traded them for a nine. I was like, I mm-hmm. still need a nine and a half. Still and small. I just ended up selling, selling the nine. Yeah. Simple had ended up buying. I was going to buy Simples at one point, but then he never sold them. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, you know, made me think of, like, I seen, like, Polaroid coming out with a dunk. You know, even the collaboration. Cool. Huh? Yeah. You know okay. what? Certain collaborations are turning You remember that show OCC, Orange County Choppers? <laughs> you remember when like companies would like come in and I used to be watching that and they'd be like, yo, um, we're State Farm and we want a motorcycle chopper. And I used to be like, for what? <laughs> but like What about Pimp My Ride? It's like, yo, dog, I heard you like a fish, so we put yeah, an aquarium like, in your back seat. But see, that's what collaborations has come to me, where it's like mm-hmm. Polaroid comes through the Nike, like, yo, we feel like we should want to die. I said, cool, you know, it's gonna but cost it, you about it's not it's not insane. It's not like there's like a camera flash on it or anything. It's just the well, colors. I'm on just the saying side. it's dumb. It's not worth it. Like to me, like to me, collaborations. I, you know, and this may be my naiveness and maybe how it used to be and maybe what it is now. I always thought Nike approached this stuff like we want to do a collaboration. Mm-hmm. And maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's like if you got a brand and you got the money, you could go to Nike like, look, we would like to do an SB dunk for our uh you know, whatever mm-hmm. cake. We have a cake company. We want to do some SB cakes. I think if you got the money and whatever they need mm-hmm. on your end, you can do it. I always thought it was like Nike, like yo, you know, come through the concept collaboration or con, mm-hmm. you know, something that has a build yeah, up, yeah, yeah. something. A Polaroid, like I said, I would watch like Orange County Chopper, and it'd be like, you know, we're the United States Army. We want an Army Chopper, and it's like for what? Like y'all gonna pay about a, you know, I'm mm-hmm. a chopper called 80 k for a motorcycle for mm-hmm. what? And camouflage. Yeah, and it's yeah. like it just sits in the window at the military base. It's mm-hmm. like for what? Like type thing. It's like a promo type thing. I've seen a lot of people like confused with the Rich Paul New Balance collaboration. What did you think of it? I mean the the colorway itself is fire. I, I think the shoe itself is fire. Why are collaboration five fifty so much better than GR ones? I don't understand why. I don't know either. I looked at that one like that was way that was fire. I, I don't was know like, either. Well, why? Yeah. That's I, weird. I don't think none of the collaborations. That came were up right. in the that came up in the in the discussion of like uh Oh, it's 550, the new Air Force One. <laughs> like, well, that's just a ridiculous thing to think of. Yeah. But, I mean, that, but that's a... what came up because the GRs of the 550 GRs are such a downgrade compared to, you know, the ALDs. I haven't like, seen a 550 GR in person. Mm. Not one. I've only seen ALDs in person. I've only that's it. I've never seen anyone. So I couldn't tell you if it's bad quality it's or just, not. It's it's a considerable downgrade. It's also something about them being like it's like that. Which is weird, right it's new balance. Do you think the Rich Paul collaboration was weird? What's weird? Cause to me I'm just like, okay, why? I mean he's Is it because Adele just shopped an album? Like is that why? Like I mean he's not an athlete. Yeah, I know. Does that make a difference to you? I don't think so. Um, so I seen a lot. I don't think so because I seen a lot. Who else is not an athlete or a musician that has a collab? Well, 
Um, what's his name? Actor. Super bad man. He had an Adidas thing. Jonah Hill. Oh, who's not an actor? No, 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 no. That, that's what I mean. Like, I'm trying to think of other people that are not I don't musicians. Know. Uh, Kerwin Frost, man? Is he something? Yeah. I don't know nothing about him. He's a... I think he's like a... I was a clown. Like a podcast? Like, everything? Uh, I know nothing about him. Like, you know what it is? It's I've, like, seen, I've seen him in one much dank video. That's about all I know about him. I saw, like, a lot of people like, yo, why the heck is Rich Paul doing? He got athletes that he should be trying to get a new balance deal with. Why him? And me and my wife were talking about this a long time ago. It's a good point, but then again, it's like, it isn't, technically the 550 is a basketball shoe. Mm-hmm. It ain't a basketball shoe no more. Like, about hooping in that. If it would have been a Rich Paul... Jordan 9, what the heck is this? You know what I mean? Or a Rich mm-hmm. Paul, New Balance, Kawhi basketball shoe. Be like, what the heck is this supposed to be? This is stupid. Yeah. You know, a, a Rich Paul trainer. I'd be mm-hmm. like, this is dumb, but it's a 550. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, and I was telling somebody, I was giving this long exclamation. And I was talking to my wife about this a long time ago about something else about athletes. People forget that, like, and, and this is like, you know, one percenter. Athletes are rich, and they're also, like, people don't realize how big they are. Mm-hmm. Like, they're like a 1% of population that are like, I'm talking Goliaths. They're yeah. not, you know what I mean? They're not regular size human beings. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what's crazy? If this was like back in Greek myth- mytholo- mythological days, mm-hmm. these cats would be the gladiators. Like, yeah, there are I, like superheroes. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Like, I, you and I'd be like with the goats and the horses. Yeah. You know, we'd be like, yeah, good luck. Because seeing a dude, <laughs> like standing on the field, seeing a dude run a 4-2 is like, Fam. it's insane. Seeing... A guy, 6'8", 280, mm-hmm. run a four, huh? That's an actual dang near. And uh, it's like, you know, we both, I'm sure like we've bo- both met people who are just like uh, yeah. physical uh, specimens, right. right? And they're like, yeah, I played in the league a couple years. Yeah, like, like rode the bench. No one's ever heard of him. So, but he's physically. So it's like when you look at that collaboration that's what i say i always said i said it's gotten to the point where it's like i don't even know if kids anymore like i i want to be lebron james like at some point you realize that's an anomaly man mm-hmm. like first of all basketball skills with itself but just him as a as a person it's like that, yeah. that man is gigantic it's huge so it's like i look at the rich paul thing is like even as older as i get as older we get I could still be Rich Paul if I wanted mm-hmm. to take care of it. You know what I mean? I look right, at it right, as right, a right. casual shoot thing. Like, I don't look at it as like, yo, what the heck? He does nothing. Like, he's just an agent. It's like, yeah, you know, it's a casual Agents shoot. Agents are on the phone like 95% of right. the day. Like, so it's like, to me, it would make no sense if it was like, and let's say if it was Nike or Jordan brand, mm-hmm. if it was like Rich Paul Jordan 8, hey, what the heck is this? Yeah, for what? Rich Paul yeah, don't yeah, play yeah. basketball. If it was a, a Rich Paul SB dunk. Mm-hmm. He don't skate. You yep. know what I mean? So that's where I was like, I need to relax on that. But I will say this too. And I love Mosh. You know, I know Mosh listens. This isn't a, nothing against Mosh. I don't know if you saw the new Mosh colorway. Mm. So it was like a blue with denim fire. Okay. Mm. But he did a collaboration with this podcast called like Two Bears or something. I don't know if you know who they are. I mean, I figured you would. Simple Two knew bears. who they were. Um, Bear, Bear Bert Bert? Bert Kreischer. Oh, with the uh, yeah, I know Bert Kreischer. And I Tom don't Segura. know any of these cats. Yeah. Oh, actually, he looks familiar now. Tom so, Segura is the guy who was like, I don't know, he was doing some comedy basketball thing. He like wrecked his ACL. Like, okay, yeah, he like I fell know, down. And I know the shit. Bert Kreischer guy. Yeah, Bert Kreischer. Yeah, the machine. He looks familiar. Okay, now I can't remember the last time a comedian got famous off of one bit in my life. I cannot <laughs> now, remember. But this is where I came because everybody's like, "Yo, you coming the new Mosh colorway?" And it's a collaboration. It's a really good colorway. It's a really good colorway. Yeah. But it's a collaboration with them. Mm-hmm. I don't think I could buy something that represents something I don't know anything about. Okay. Like, and doesn't have anything involved with my the sneaker culture. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like, the shoe is fire. But I was like, on the tongue, it says, like, two bears. Like, it has, like, real insignias of, like, mm-hmm. the thing. You know what I mean? And then somebody was like, and I was like, going back and forth with them. And they're like, well, what if Mosh wanted to do a sneak, this sneaker podcast? And I was like, see, I would view that as different because it's a sneaker. It's a sneaker, a sneaker podcast. podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it ain't like a, if he was like, yo, I'm making a Top Chef sneaker. I love mm-hmm. Top Chef on Bravo. Like, Top Chef's a good show. We're doing uh, Top Chef. I'd be like, 
I don't know if I want to represent Top Chef. Now, I love Top Chef, so maybe I'd be like, oh, okay, whatever. But you know what I mean? Like, could you buy I a sneaker like that? I a chopped Nike. A chopped? I yeah. love chopped. Chops now, funny. could you buy a collaboration sneaker with something like you have no- I'm talking nothing to do with. Like, like, uh, uh, like I'm sure I probably have one. You like, think so? I don't think I, I think I if do. I thought about it, I probably have... I mean, I don't watch The Simpsons. I have Krusty Burgers. Okay, you the Simpsons watch kind the Simpsons of. And you've grown up on The Simpsons. Well, yeah, that's different. You don't watch them now. That is way different. That is literally our childhood in a nutshell. Like I'm talking about. Would you wear an ESPN sneaker? Sneaker? I don't. Uh, we watch ESPN, but like, I don't think I would. I love ESPN. Actually, you know what? Let's take that. Back. I wonder. If- I have a connection with ESPN. Like, I watched it my entire life. Well, yeah. I don't think I would want to wear that, though. Mm-mm. But, like, I wouldn't wear i uh, I'm trying to think of another podcast. Oh, like, um, Gilly, Gilly and Wallow or any of them. Um, Drink Champs. Okay. It's okay. I watch it every once in a while, depending on who the guest is. I, I wouldn't cop a Drink Champs ASIC Gel Light 5. Mm-hmm. I just wouldn't. Actually, maybe I would. I don't know. Do you, I feel okay, like okay, the okay. collaboration with Mosh and them is too personable. Do like, you that's his buy? Favorite do you podcast. buy podcasts like merch? Like if you like no. the podcast, um, I only listen because I listen like, to part of my take every time it comes out. But I, I wouldn't like buy a barstool shirt. I mean, I w- no, no offense to the dudes who run part of my take, right. but like I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't get. I feel like that would be weird. Like you see, could sell merch. Like that. I could. I don't want to say that because I would make something. I don't know why anybody would wear a sneak disc shirt. And I've never made one, but everybody keeps saying, hey, when you come over with a shirt? Well, we're... We're... Hmm. It's sneaker... Community. It's sneaker related. So it's sneaker community stuff. I, you know what I mean? Like, like I, I wear the sneak disc hat like all the time. Yeah, and that's why it's just an S. Like, I, I couldn't fathom the thought of putting sneak disc. I'd be like, you put your faces on. I'm like, huh? No, 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 no. I ain't doing all that. Hmm. I don't want sneak this on. I don't want sneak this sneaker podcast on it. I don't want that because I'm not trying to get people to buy it to advertise for me. Like, if you want to support the show, like, anybody buy a hat, that money goes straight to the podcast. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, man, thank you. You know what I mean? I ain't got no Patreon. I ain't got stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's for to me. It ain't like, yay, we sold hats. Now we can buy mm-hmm. Union Ones. It ain't yeah. for that. If I made a sweatshirt or something, like I mean, I've designed about a thousand things. I'm not even joking. Mm-hmm. I look at it like, what the heck, man? Like, why? Would, I don't want to do this. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I have some ideas that I'm thinking about doing anyway. And I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna legit. Copy. You should just do it. I'm just gonna do it. You know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't want. Like, I don't want to walk around with like Food Network T-shirt. You know, mm-hmm. it's like you know what? It's like when people go to breweries and you walk in and they got all these, you know, four beers. What are mm-hmm. I don't know these? Four peaks. peaks. Four peaks closed. I would never in a million years buy that stuff. Never. Hmm. Would you? We went to a distillery in, in Nashville. It, it, if it's a distillery, I'd buy a shot glass. Things I'd like that. A, that's different. A yeah, but that's, cup. yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, we're a sneaker podcast. Like, we talk about fashion and stuff here. So, you put out a shirt. You put out a fitted, like. Right. I okay, so I guess that kind of makes a little bit more sense than I wouldn't buy. Oh, a- I'm listening to these dudes talk about sports. I'm gonna buy a T-shirt because I listen to them talk about sports. Yeah. Like that's a little like I'm. Not, I feel like that's a little much. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not gonna buy like you know. I'm not gonna buy a Food Network T-shirt. Yeah, as I, much as we love Food I Network, I love like, the Food Network. I but love it if if. Top Chef had like a cookbook. Oh, of course, that's up their alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. So okay, that's, okay, that's what so it is. So it has to be a distillery. Something fashion related. I'm buying related. a shot glass. Yeah, I'm yeah, buying yeah. a beer mug. I'll buy their beer. I'll buy mm-hmm. that stuff. I'm not gonna buy a uh, fitted hat of yeah. like Tennessee Nashville Distillery. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't need a Jack Daniel snapback. You know right, what I mean? Right, like, right, 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 right. Whatever it is. So that's what it is. Now, like I said, with the the mosh thing, the colors are super duper fire. But like, mm-hmm. I'm like, we don't Man, listen to the podcast. I don't know. I don't even know nothing about it. Mm-hmm. I don't even, I barely, the guy I recognize. Yeah. And I recognize him like he's, his that face, his eyes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like not enough to be like, yo, yeah, this is the two bear mm-hmm. collaboration yeah, yeah. like type thing. Because I don't feel like, I don't know where the intersection of like who listens to the podcast and sneakerheads cross. Now, do you listen to Grateful Dead? No, none at all. Would you have copped 
if Grateful Dead SBs were retail and not selling for it's funny like it's I have De La Soul about. SBs I listen to De La Soul like I, I like De La Soul well, you know what I mean more about half you know like but yeah, like you know what's funny is that we were at Sneaker Con and me and Skate were walking and he was wearing a Grateful Dead mm-hmm. tie dye shirt mm-hmm. and this guy you know he might have been homeless Name I don't know fuck Grateful Dead song no he goes yo the shirt I love it and and he said he just loved it. He didn't say nothing about, do you like the music? Mm-hmm. I don't think. And Skate up immediately went, oh, I don't listen to the music. I just like the shirt. Mm-hmm. He just automatically jumped out with that. That's what Travis would do, too. And I, you know, He's wearing Slayer shirts and shit on stage. And I thought that was... I don't know why it kind of surprised me. Because I was like, well, you didn't test your knowledge. Yeah, like, you didn't you know, have to do that. Whatever, but... People are oh. bozos, by the way, when it comes to that stuff. I think. But I were Grateful Dead. I seen a definitely were Slayers. I seen a. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would definitely were. I ain't never I listen heard to Slayer, Slayer song in my life. But like I listen nah, to Narcana, Slayer Rules. We all listen, listen to some, you know I listen to like certain things. Some Angel know? of Death. Don't oh, fire. Don't. Oh. Slayer Rules. So do you consider that like? What? I don't know what the term would be like. Not a poser, but like. I'm wearing Grateful Dead. I know nothing about dirty. it. Dirty, like because my friends, care. I see them come out wearing Nirvana t-shirt. Seventeen-year-old me, fam. Seventeen-year-old me is a little dickhead. No, he has a Nirvana t-shirt. Name five Nirvana songs, fam. There's like fam. Like that. You ever see the memes? That's uh, like it's George. like George it's like a does that to me, and I'm like, you don't. If I told you, you don't even know what they are. You don't yeah. listen. Uh, there's a meme of like a baby in a Nirvana shirt. <laughs> and it's uh-huh. like, they find Nirvana songs, fucking poser. <laughs> Stupid. I'm like, because I, I like certain music like that. You know what I mean? And, you know, I don't know. Yeah, when it comes it's got to be. Collaboration, certain things. I feel like music, music related it's fine. I mean, movie related it's fine. I mean, everyone can relate to Ferris Bueller, something from Ferris Bueller. You know what I mean? So the SBs exist, that makes sense. But I feel like that's. So I okay. don't know, man. I kind of feel I like think, if you got Ferris Bueller, you never seen Ferris Bueller. Bueller, that's kind of wow. No, but no. but Ferris Bueller, it's it's a it's a cultural thing. I feel like there's there have to. I'd say like a solid like thirty percent of Americans haven't seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You think thirty percent? Probably. Well, yeah, like kids, like little world. kids. It's a lot of people. The parents are like, oh, we're gonna watch Ferris Bueller now. You know what I mean? Like, cause I mean that's kind of how I grew up. Like my mom was like, all right, sit down, we're gonna watch this movie. You know, like it's Ferris Bueller's Day Off, so we're gonna watch it. You know, Sixteen Candles, we're gonna watch it. <laughs> so it's like a lot of things I learned, I watched was being out of school in the summertime, and like mm-hmm. you got to the age where you could stay home by yourself, and summertime TV was whack. Mm-hmm. Like the you, worst. You never realized like no how on, cool no it was to be at school mm-hmm. until you weren't, and you because you think like you at school, you just missing everything. Boy, once like your morning cartoons go off, it was rough. Yeah, I ain't shit to do on Saturday. It was Call like the homies up. it was like you know, man. Summer vacation start. You at home. You play with your friends outside. Whatever for a mm-hmm. little bit. You watch morning cartoons. And then it was like, I love Lucy and MASH and daytime mm-hmm. talk shows and, you know, Maury's, I just, you're you, all these things in the daytime. you like, man, where are the cartoon? Where is mm-hmm. the, the stuff at? Like, you know, um, yeah, you know. But I think we're, I think we're kind of setting good parameters. So, I mean, if it's like. I also don't want to be that guy, though. I'm sorry. I no, also no, no, don't no. want to be that guy that like, fam, you can't wear that. You know nothing. Uh-huh. I'm an OG. Yeah, I seen cats like, you know, like, yo, I got the. 2010 cool green. I used to copy yeah. these. I used to gatekeep. Everybody used uh, to do that. Everybody uh, did. We all did it. I'm at still. One point. I'm still kind of really bad at gatekeeping. Like I'm you trying to be better. I, oh man, but I used, be, I used to be. I used to be. I used to be so much worse. You no, a commander? It though. was so bad. It, nah, <laughs> it used to be so bad. No, you a sneaker police chief? No, nah, right. You know what? And a lot of you New Balance cats always been like that. Mm-hmm. You guys, it's true. A lot of New Balance A6 people used to be like. I feel like mad. There, there's people that take it too far though. Though. Like I, I remember, like people like, not would saying be, no names, but like in the New Balance groups, like people are like, oh, what are your top five grails? Like a dude who I know is like a real like New Balance OG, be like, oh, you know some nine nine two, I mean all white nine nine twos. I was like, man, oh, just, I know. leave everybody alone, man. <laughs> like, uh, New Balance, A6, Diodore, all of them have always had their own mm-hmm. little society, which was cool. Runner World was cool. different. That society at the same time hated everyone else because they thought they just went for the hype. Mm-hmm. And because New Balance, A6, Diodora, Saucony, all that, I mean, since the beginning of time, mm-hmm. the quality is just immaculate. So it was like, 
everyone in that group who was already committed to that hated on everybody chasing your Nike garbage. Mm-hmm. And it was like, yo, it's cheap, it's garbage, it's hard to get, yo, 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 yo. Then whatever, what, 2016 and seven, whenever, People started going like, hmm, Asics and New Balance. Then the Asics New Balance, yo, yo, get the heck out of here, fam. You ruined it, yo, get the heck out of mm-hmm. here. And I was like, yo, you wanted us to, to give your stuff a shot. You wanted now us to Now we did. Now look it. at y'all. Now we here and mm-hmm. everybody trying to cop it all. Yo, get the heck out of Yo, you don't like this. You don't know nothing about this. It's a di- So sneakerheads are the weirdest human beings and the most complicated people on the planet. It's I not even it's a people, question. But also yes, brainwashed. Yeah. Hat people, too. See, I, 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 I'm not tied, connected, oh. anything hat anymore. Though. You're more in the hats than I am now. Like, hat. I buy some here and hat there, humans. but, like, I just, I didn't think that there was another culture like sneakers. Yeah. I didn't think that. Yeah, but hat, you said hats that, now. That, there was one dude, he he posted something like. That hat tree, fam. Almost. Every, oh, <laughs> my God, the hat tree. But, like, what am the, I supposed to say when I got people making sneaker mm-hmm. trees? Clocks. Sneaker clocks. One through twelve. I always thought that was so st- I was like, man, what? I'm not gonna lie. When they first seen it, it was no. fire at first. It was fire. Jordan's I one through twelve and a clock. It was fire at first. <laughs> it now crazy. it's like, oh, yeah. man. but like that goes back to what I said the other week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do so much goofy stuff. Mm-hmm. It makes the value of sneakers go through the roof. Go, yeah. Cats were making their own sneaker clock. So I think I think we're setting good parameters as far as like what we expect from collabs like if you're involved in fashion music like something in major popular culture in some way having a shoe probably makes sense but if like you're right i'm not buying a distillery t-shirt i'm buying a distillery shot glass because i tried all this fucking alcohol and now i'm drunk as shit people so it's really like, hated on billy eilish getting a sneaker though <laughs> yeah but i mean i i get it though like okay i still think her you know her what opinions was? on sneakers are kind of uh, you know but. what it was it was with jordan I don't think it would have mattered if it was a Nike. I think it was something um, about it being with Jordan. I don't know. Like, I feel like Jordan is at that upper echelon of, like, fine, you're Travis Scott. You're, yeah. um, that's the only music person with Jordan. But still, right? I mean, it's not, uh, they don't, they don't resell. Like, they don't, you know what I mean? They're well, not like Billie Eilish. Is? Yeah, all oh, those They're are not crazy. really hard models. That's yeah. a, those two are like. But I mean, I feel like she's like. I don't want to say I don't want to diminish what Billie Eilish is. I still think she's good, um, but like she seems like one of those like typical teenagers. No one likes this, so I'm going to like it. Right? Yeah, Why do you yeah. like that, oh, William Eyelash? Oh, it's because nobody else likes it. Okay, but do do you like anything about it? No one else likes it. All right. Okay. I do. I used to be like that too. I used to be like uh-huh. that. Uh, kind of. Uh, like I took it really personal like I'll tell you this I think we talked about this before maybe me and you but like there's a lot of people in music that like I legit was listening to that mm-hmm. would never existed now I can't stand to hear any of it mm-hmm. and I was listening to The Weeknd I'm talking House of Balloons thing. trilogy but classic House of Balloons I heard some stuff that mm-hmm. like on like a, a CD thing whatever I mean I George, everybody could attest to it. And like, I'm talking, I was telling, I don't know, this cat might be mm-hmm. up. Now that he's like through the roof, I cannot stand to listen to it. I listen to it, like, oh, that's a cool little jam. It's a bop. I hate it. Kendrick, fam, I was, I was Mac Miller. I was Mac, listening to uh-huh. Mac Miller when I would be in the car. I'm like, yo, what is Frick this? Park stuff? Market. Mm-hmm. Like, they would be like, what is this? I'm like, fam, I don't know who it is, but this cat. Cacking him, do some rap, and these mm-hmm. beats are crazy. It was a lot of people like that. I tell my wife, I'm like, oh, you act like you put these people on. I'm like, I, I'm not acting like, it's but it's thing, something yeah. about it that does that. It's a thing. Same for sure. thing with like sneakers as well. We've all mm-hmm. done it. You know what I mean? And like you said, she's like the one that's like, oh, I'm, I'm look at me, I'm different. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that different works. Sometimes it doesn't. It's like Tyler mm-hmm. the Creator. Like it's like sometimes people go out of their way to be weird, and it's like you know at some point you just Tyler like, is unbelievable though. Huh? Tyler Creator is unbelievable, though. Unbelievable? That's all, yeah, that's you all think the year. So? Yeah. See, yeah, I feel like it's, it's he's stuck with it so long. It's like okay, he's just nah. Nah. Really? Come oh, when sure. you get lost is is fantastic. It's so good. All his music is really good. Yeah. Actually, though. Yeah. I couldn't stand listening to any of his stuff because I hated his voice. I don't think he. I don't think he does. You see, and that's crazy. I think he has like one of the best voices like ever in hip hop. 
I think it's, gotten gotten it's better that perfect now. bass that like mix. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. hated that. Uh, no, I, oh. it's it's so distinct. And the goblin days, there. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oof, like goblin, yeah, but he was a kid. Like, like, like he goblin got, came out. Right. You know what I mean? Like now his music is so mature and mm-hmm. like thought out. It's Definitely. thoughtful, and his performances are like creative, and it's like yeah. him. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. What else do we have? Anything else? Uh, I think that was it. NFL picks. Uh, Tatum gets so a yeah, sneaker. I told. Uh, well, if that matters. Jason that Tatum's good. Of course, he's gonna get a sig. That's cool. He yeah, was Jason Tatum's boring. Bro. Is he's he a boring? personality? That's okay. You know what it is, man. Signature sneakers are just—they're almost a waste now. Ah, I don't agree. know what it is. And you know, I'm gonna tell you that new LeBron could maybe make Rookie of the Year in a category. It's a nice shoe. It ain't for us, but it don't suck. You think it sucks when you look at it? I think I think some colorways are better than others. <laughs> I think I think that matters. This this is a the model where one. that definitely matters because the orange the... one is awful. Oh, what? That's the best one. That's the one that made me think like, hmm. Wait, let me look. Maybe that's the one I'll go for. What is it? Nineteen? And we're up to nineteen now. I don't now? know. I think it's on sneakers right now. Uh, um, keep typing Lenron. Yeah, you know what, Jason Tatum signature. I feel like you know Puma has the perfect person for a signature with Melo, and they're not doing nothing. Jason Tatum is boring. Um, he's yeah. boring, and he's in Boston. Nineteens are good. Oh yeah, they're good. You know, like am I wearing it? No, like, like, like this this white and blue colorway. Simple. It's a good sneaker. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. know what I mean. I, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now if Jason Tatum gives a collaboration with Con- ah, you know what never mind <laughs> he's Jordan just because he plays too. basketball in Boston I mean you really gotta think about like I mean Kyrie doesn't he has to win a ring basketball. <laughs> if, he, if he wins a ring he can have a concepts collab I honestly I think. don't think nobody cares about anybody having a signature sneaker anymore Giannis has Probably one not. and they're yeah. cool now like I said we always talk about it all the time I jumped out the These window kids, for Greek Freaks the first ones yeah they was cool they're still cool second one's cool this is three right yeah Third one's pretty cool too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't mad at him. He's good, but he's yeah, he's really good. But mm-hmm. you know what's funny? They win the championship, and I just feel like no one really cares about the Bucks anymore. It's mm-hmm. like it's everyone like, forgets about them. We're most fa- we're like, like I was talking uh, I was talking NBA with a bunch of dudes, and you know they're they're talking about um you know talking about the Suns, the Warriors, and they're talking about the East. They're like oh the Hawks and the the <laughs> Celtics and the I was like and we went all just rattling off teams, and I was like so the Bucks. Oh yeah, the Bucks. It's like, always like, oh shoot, the Bucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had about forty the other night, forty, ten, yeah, twelve. Like you know what's crazy is that like, and I feel like it's gradually gone that way throughout the NBA for the last like five, six years. Maybe it's always been this way. Like the storylines dominate mm-hmm. basketball. Mm-hmm. Like I'm more it fascinated does. in how whack the Lakers are mm-hmm. than I am how good someone else is. Yes. I'm more curious of like, what the heck is happening with Ben Simmons mm-hmm. than I am with, are the Sixers good? I like the Sixers play the Warriors. And I'm I like, see it. Their record is that bad? I see it once, twice, three times a day about Ben Simmons Yo, being a so what they, they landing talks. spot to the Knicks. Yeah, they talking. Like, I'm like, fam, come no, on. Get, somebody not. do something. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I seen like they were talking about like, you know, um, I bonus. never believe any Knicks rumors, free agency draft. No. Oh, no matter I'm what, I'm talking ever. since the '90s. None. I mean, every single star is going to the Knicks. The Knicks, yeah. The Knicks, no, even not. the Suns. Sometimes it'd be like, mm-hmm. "Yo, they come to the Suns." It's like, hey, really no, they're nice. not. Yeah. But yeah, no. I feel like when it comes to basketball, Jason and the Knicks Tate, are horrendous. I didn't even know they, they got that bad. So bad. They started off so freaking good. They did start off. Really I didn't well, realize but the Bulls had got kind of whack. Hey, Tibbs. I looked at the Bulls record. I was like, wait a minute. I thought they was slapping people mm-hmm. up. They're like maybe one, two over five hundred. I was like, yo, this season is weird. Tibbs lost locker room nope he has to go how i don't know but they're not playing for him it's these new athletes i'm over all these new athletes Mm -hmm. i'm sorry i i cannot take the fact of like knicks if the knicks would have got to the eastern conference finals last year it would have been shocking but they were playing such decent Mm high-paced basketball where it was like man you you get hot at the right time yeah it wouldn't have been like this is insane and then they get swept by the Bucks. Wouldn't care. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why are they so whack now? The Atlanta Hawks are so whack. It's not even funny. They got 
everybody healthy mm-hmm. that was hurt when they were balling. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't understand how you go from fire to whack. The yeah. Bucks, the Bucks started off a little weird. Mm-hmm. Now they back now they're back to the top. Like one, two. Knicks beat them. Early Miami the Heat were like, oh, they might heat the heat. Middle, oh, yeah, the heat like material. They whack too. It's like. But the Celtics are so beyond whack, mm-hmm. like you know. And then it's like you look and the Suns, man, they still Suns are still everybody. winning. You look at the yep. Warriors, they still, still slapping everybody, everybody up. Yep. And then it's like the Blazers, they suck. My brother, uh, my brother made a big deal about it. He's like, oh, Steph's gonna break the record in Madison Square Garden. Is that today? Yeah. Okay. He only needs one. Huh. So, I mean, I was like, I thought he was gonna do it the other night. I really yeah, was hoping too. he hit that sixteen mm-hmm. the first night, but yeah. But hey, as it is. Tatum, Sarah, 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 eh, we'll see. I mean, Zion has one, and clearly his career is like no joke. Yeah, but th- that whole thing is what that's the one I'm most interested in because I want. I'm like, yo, is he fat or is he not fat? Because like, there there's a picture of him looking big, and then he's a picture with a fan, and he looks normal size, normal size for someone who's like six eight or whatever. But yeah, but his foot, I don't know, man. His yeah, people really a like, foot is hard when you're that big. It's the same thing. I mean, again, it's two different think, sports, but the same thing happened to Makai Becton, the uh, yeah. tackle for the Jets. That happens like, with every. There were like four to six weeks, but because he's six foot seven and three hundred fifty pounds, like happened with Yao he's been Ming, out the whole season with a lot of yeah. people. When it comes, your feet go, that's a wrap. Mm-hmm. But it's like you think of like horses, right? Like I don't know why stuff like this throughout the years don't make people draft different, like. I get Zion was just like, wow, this is insane. But, like, you got to look at a little bit more. I don't mm, – like, what's tough about it is it, it's really hard to have to live as the guy who passed on Zion. Especially, like, the way his season, like, ended last year. Like He was averaging almost 30. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like, so, to crap. be the GM who was like, you know what, I'm not going to take Zion. Like, he would have been – he would have been fired probably – he would have got fired. Mm-hmm. He would have. But, you know, like, it's the I same never thing, was like, that high on Trevor Lawrence in college. I just I wasn't. wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't. I, I didn't it. think he sucked. It was, but the, I was, just it was like, the ball placement. The ball placement was, was just flawless. It was. But, like, man, I feel like a lot of people in the right program at the right time could look like the greatest of anything. And this is, I mean. Like, look at Mac Jones. There has never been an Alabama yeah, quarterback but, where we thought like, look, ooh, that's the one. And still, to this day, it's Tua. not. I never thought that with Tua. They've won five straight. Tua broke his hip in college. So yeah. He had the same thing as Bo Jackson. Mm-hmm. It was like, he's back. he shouldn't he's have back now. He's won five straight. And, that, and that's that's the that's thing that doesn't make matter to me either. Like five straight when you were one in seven, like who cares? One in six, like who cares? You're gonna be five hundred, fam. Who cares being five hundred, dog? When it's week fifteen and the play, okay, NFL season. Uh, like two or three weeks ago, I would have agreed with you. The season's whack. Now. It's whack. No, it's not. It's whack. The the thing about this NFL season is that it's super middle heavy. Like literally, aside from the Jets and the Texans, everyone else in the AFC is like could still make the playoffs. I don't. There's like ten teams like in the hunt, fam. and they're all like within a game and a half of each other. I don't mind. Like it's parody, B. I, like my my thing when i say the season is whack is because like the things that should happen aren't happening enough yeah like, but it, i don't mean it got to happen a week but like the bucks can't get slapped up by washington then go in and slap somebody else up and why? go in and barely slap somebody else the why? bills went from mm-hmm. to I'm they've talking, lost like four straight they or something are like that awful yeah they're, they're bad embarrassingly bad mm-hmm. and it's like you know yeah but why why can't bills. that happen Fam, do you Why know not? in reality the Cowboys could end up with the the best record in football? The Cardinals lost last night. They're now mm-hmm. ten and three. Ten three. Yeah. Cowboys are nine and four. Mm-hmm. Like we, we like. I know, mm-hmm. but the Bucks what? are also ten and three, and the Patriots are nine and four, and the Packers are also still ten and three. Like I it's crazy. Like Packers it's so either, middle heavy, dude. Fam. And I feel like every team can be like. You know, if I think we're gonna end up with a lot of whack playoff games, I don't think so. We're gonna it's going to be because every year there's there's a Cinderella team that comes out of fucking nowhere. Like the Browns almost beat the Chiefs last year. Now the Browns we thought were completely out of it, 
And then they beat uh who they beat? They beat Baltimore? the Ravens. Yeah, they beat the Ravens. And but now they're they back. Still almost took gave one up. game for them to be back. In the hunt, they still gave like, up nineteen in the second half. Like, there's the fa- we are at week fifteen, and there are only four teams eliminated from the Saturday playoffs. Too. Yeah, and there are only four teams eliminated from the playoffs in week fifteen. There's only four teams we know that are terrible, maybe five, because the Giants might be awful. This is all mathematical stuff. What did Danny Dimes is out with a broke neck or whatever yeah. he got? So that's bad. I don't know. I man. keep having arguments with people being like, oh, would, would you rather be a Giants fan or a Jets fan? I was like, right now, I'd rather be a Jets fan. Giants are a fucking disaster. They're keeping their coach. You know They're probably going to fire is? the GM. It's like, even though the Jets are whack, it's like cooler to be a Jets fan for some reason than a Giants fan. Giants, Giants, Giants is whack. It, I don't know. As far as the Jets go, they're... Well, you can say whatever you want. I, I mean, think. the Jets have. I think Zach Wilson's gonna be fine. I think, I think this is exactly how this I thought this year would go. No, you did. Yes, I did. How many That's what I got? said. Three. You said five. Yeah, I said fi- I said if they had five wins, I will be elated. You know what's funny is is that you were way more angry throughout the year to expect five wins. You was way too angry. Well, I still want them to man. win football games. <laughs> like I still <laughs> want I still want them to play well and win football games, but. Look, they, you know, five. I, yeah, this has been this has been on par for what the season should have been. Cowboys, and I go to a lot of places where Jets fans are like melting down and losing their minds and being like, "Yo, Kenny Pickett, if he's there at four, I'm like, man, if you don't shut the fuck up, you can't dude. draft another quarterback. Absolutely not. We just can't. I think Zach Wilson, he'll be fine. I don't know what the Jets need. I don't know what anybody needs. The Jets need defense it. now. The Jets offense is. <sighs> The Jets' offense will be explosive. I think they have the right guy calling the plays. I think Zach Wilson has to fix his short game. He's just he's got some yips. So just he'll get that out in the off season. Tr- trust me. Yes, I'm in mean, Georgia seat. Zach Wilson will figure it out. Trust me. He's missing short throws. He's not missing big ones. And also in the game against the Saints, wide receivers had 12 drops. Also, with five minutes left in the game, it was still a one-score game. So, I mean, defense was gassed. That's and how they were playing, the Saints are. And they were playing against Alvin Kamara. Like, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Saints are whack. The Jets need the Jets need defense. They they need C.J. Mosley to be catapulted into the sun. Catapulted. He is horrendous. He was really on Jets' Instagram page talking about, yeah, vote for your boy for Pro Bowl. I, was like, I honestly man. think that, like, if your team is doing bad, you shouldn't post on social media. I just... Don't. No, I I still think it's fine. It's a young. It's the youngest team in the league. No, I want to see what they do on social media. I'm talking about the Jets page. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they're the youngest team in the league. Posting I want to see like what they lost, do. Like almost. No, 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 no. They were like, you know, they were like close like one, heartbreaker. 21. Blah blah blah. They lost by 21. I mean, it was what 30. To they don't say it week? then. They don't say it then. Well, Let's do NFL picks. I mean, go home. Though. NFL you picks. Gotta go. You gotta do your. Oh thing, my bro. goodness, I'll be fine. Are you gonna say the teams? Uh, yeah, I'm pull it up. Oh. B, thank you again for inviting me. Podcast. Come through and pod. Appreciate sure everybody you who sleepy, likes this podcast. You huh? sleepy, This podcast might have been all over the place. You need to, you need to wake up. You do what you got We were do. not all over the place. We were good. We were, were we? We were succinct. We were. Maybe we were. I can't remember what we talked about. I listened back. Well, we talked about <laughs> NFL teams. NFL Real teams. Plays. Thursday. Chargers at Chiefs. Kansas God, City. Are the Chargers good now? Like, I don't know. Uh, favored by three. What was the game at? Is that San Diego in, or LA? In uh, LA. I don't know. The Chiefs now score 40 a game. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But then the. I'm going Chiefs. But my Chargers were, the super, were my Super Bowl pick. What? Mm, Chargers Bucks. That's what I have. Lord have pick. mercy. Chargers? Yeah. Chargers I thought Justin Chargers. Herbert was going to. He's still balling. <laughs> Chargers are the Chargers. The Chargers like the Bills. I guess I'm going to go Chiefs because they score 40 now. I mean, what do you do? George is Las Vegas Raiders at Cleveland Browns. Cleveland favored by three. Cleveland wins. The Raiders are embarrassing. I think the Raiders might win. The Raiders are disgusting embarrassing. They went out there in the middle of, of Arrowhead and dancing on the logo. But still, 6-7 six and, and seven got, against 7-6 and six team. And got like, destroyed. Them. Middle heavy this NFL league is right now. Patriots at Colts. Colts favored by two and a half. Over the Patriots? Yup. Patriots are going to slap them up. Nope. Uh, fam, Jonathan on. Taylor, B. 
Done. Dude. He's good. Jonathan Taylor and Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz back. But I know what's going to happen. They're going to get away. Oh, from those me. games aren't Saturday. Oh, they are. Ooh, we nice. did it. We have arrived. That means uh, season about to end soon. Uh, Spider Man tomorrow. <laughs> I got my tickets, but not until the 20 something. going to be unbelievable. I Missing out. Uh, Sunday games. Missing out. <laughs> Panthers at Bills. Bills favored by 10 and a half. Panthers. That is are a big line. Lord. The Bills oh. win by 30. Cameron Newton. Poor guy. Oh, Feel poor bad. guy. I'm back. I hope he's at least back on the team, like camp, and, you know, see how it goes. Like, oh. They're 0 and 11 in his last 11 starts for the Panthers. Um, <laughs> Cardinal. <laughs> Cardinals at Lions. Cardinals. Yep. Cardinals play better on the road. Yep. It's true. It's so true. I'm like, they might be the first team that might want to try to avoid home field advantage. Jets at Dolphins. I mean, Jets and Dolphins always I'm taking the kind Jets. of play good. You taking Jets? Yeah. They're, huh? they're they're yeah they're getting a lot of a lot of players back. You just came and told me how Tua is slapping everybody in five wins. Tua's still good, but we're getting we're getting Michael Carter the second back. He's a big piece of our secondary. I'm gonna pick and Dolphins, it's still a Bryce Hall. But and I picked the Jets enough this year. You and have. every time I picked them. You, you have said, every time you pick because you picked them to beat the Colts. I'm like, what are we doing here? What is this? I don't trust. It the was Colts. after after every win you picked them the next week, and I was like, can we relax? It's a feeling. Cowboys at Giants. Oh, Cowboys. What am I yeah. thinking about? I mean, I don't know. What if Danny Dimes is back, <laughs> then still Cowboys, Cowboys still. <laughs> um, the, the Giants are a dumpster fire. They uh, should just give the stadium to the Jets. They should. Like, they should fight for it. Uh, Washington at Eagles. Or maybe join the teams together. Eagles favored by four and a half. Wait, who? Washington at the Eagles? Oh, Washington. Washington. I'm going to go Eagles. If Gardner Minshew starts, I'm taking the Eagles. But... If oh shoot! I forgot he's playing. Gardner Minshew. I switch. I'm going someone Eagles. said. Uh, I'm someone said Gardner Minshew needs to go to Detroit, and I was like, "Yo, <laughs> that would be my favorite thing." It might be. They'd be my, like him. my new NFC team if Gardner Minshew went to Detroit. His mustache is Detroit. Seriously, uh, I think he can win some games from the two Titans at Steelers. Titans only favored by one and a half for I'm go whatever Steelers. reason. You want Steelers? I'm gonna go to I hate the Steelers so much. Holy fuck. Um Texans at Chargers. Tank Bowl. Again? <laughs> Texans at Chargers. Did you already say Chargers play somebody? You said Chiefs at Chargers. Oh, uh Texas at Jaguars. My bad. <laughs> oh Slack and B. It's the af- it's the early afternoon. Oh, Texas. it's a weird vibe. I'm going Texans. You going Texans? I'm going Jaguars. Jaguars suck, dude. They do? Lawrence have Trevor four Lawrence interceptions. Oh. Next week. Next week is the game to watch. Oh. Jets versus <laughs> Jaguars. Only if Wilson plays. Mm, he's gonna play. He's starting this week too. He'll probably get hurt this week. All right, don't do that. He gets hurt a lot. I wish anyone to be hurt it, but like he's weird he's built weird no he's not I honestly think he'd be faking that's he, true i think he's scared oh he's not scared he has a weird look on his face sometimes like zach wilson like, like a deer in headlights he's a I rookie you know time. no he has a he's a blank slate like sam darnold that's what i liked about sam darnold he's he a blank a slate expression you never know <laughs> yeah, what he's thinking yeah. The they asked him. Headband on his head. They, they, I hate that headband. They asked the. Uh, nah, it's fire. When he starts winning, it's gonna be fire. No, you're gonna see Jets fans coming headbands when he left, winning, right, and center. He's gonna start talking re- yeah. reckless. No, so he's not. No, he's not. He uh, someone asked him like, "Oh, you disappointed in all these losses, blah blah blah." And Zach Wilson was literally like, "I'm a rookie, so it's like I don't, I don't really think about that." I right, try to get, just try to get cut. better every day. All right, cool. Bang- <laughs> yes. Bengals at Broncos. Broncos. I'm going Bengals. Broncos are favored by one and a half. I don't know why. Joe Burrow, back. Bengals, back. Bengals might win the division. I had Bengals as my sleeper for, mm-hmm. you know, something. I don't know. Sleeper. Bengals going to win the division. Putting my stake Your in the ground. It. Yes. <laughs> stamp of approval. Falcons at 49ers. Falcons by nine. Niners. Kittle has been killing food. Falcons, Falcons cover the, the entire week. fuck out of that spread, but Niners I, win. I, I hate the Panthers. 
See, what? Did I say Panthers again? Falcons. Fair. Falcons and Niners. No, you that's said That's what Niners. I said, right? Yeah, 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 I just started talking about the Panthers. Why well, I started talking about the I Panthers? Got you confused me, you know? Slap the Panthers up. It's only four in the afternoon. What's up? Seahawks at Rams. You're not as good as George at teams. Though. All right. <laughs> at who? Seahawks at Rams. <laughs> oh, I Beckham need, got COVID now. So. I need the Rams to win by about a bajillion points. Why? why? Jets have Seahawks first round pick. Oh. We had... We had Pick four and five for a while. Rams are kind of like finding their groove now. I think they might be okay. Odell looked fine. really good last night. They need Cooper to beat Cup Seattle. Season. Cooper Cup might be a top five wide receiver. What sucks is that Jamal Adams got hurt. That sucks because I want him <laughs> on the field when they lose all those games. Jamal Adams is might be overrated. He's a loser. He's just a wild. loser. But now you see all the talk coming out of the Jets is like Kyle Hamilton B. I was like, let's not safety. Number five, uh oh, uh oh, B, but he covers better. Packers at Ravens. Packers, if Packers, if Lamar Jackson don't buy play. about a bajillion. Even if Lamar Jackson played, what's the name? Didn't play all that bad. Uh, Huntley, Huntley? yeah, he scored nineteen on that good, good Browns defense mm-hmm. in the second half. It's true. Browns are goofy. Saints at Bucks. Bucks. Bucks by a quadrillion. Monday night football. Pfft. Most underwhelming game of all time. Vikings at Bears. I'm glad. No, that means I'm going to watch it. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go Bears. Do you sports gamble? You don't sports gamble, do you? I retired after. I, I retired five. too. I just yeah. was like, I, I can't like, I've had enough. The, the season is too weird for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm betting the ones that, like, they're like, okay, yeah, this the one. And nope. nope. And it's like, what the heck is this? So you got to be like, oh, this the one, and then bet the other one. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll bet on, like, oh, this person's going to score a touchdown first. You know, it'd be like a mm-hmm. pretty big name. And then it'd be like, nope, some guy, yeah, this guy? off I'm the off street. The who is this? Yep. Like, all right. It's hot in here. Why do I wear a hoodie in here? It is hot. All right, Rico. Do do? It's your fault. Oh. You got anything else? I don't. Appreciate you coming Appreciate through like it. always. Absolutely. Sneak to Sneaker Awards is the 28th. Might be an episode next week. I don't know. I'm going to be out of town. We'll see. I'm thinking about maybe taking the pasta cast up to, to California. Taking the cast? Maybe. I'll go to California. about Shoe Half and all. I might be tripped out. Maybe might take be Shoe Half. See too many trips shoe. recently. I'm I'm done traveling for at least six months. Must be nice. Huh? I went to Nashville, Thanksgiving. Ran a Tesla. Never again. Oh, never again in life. That battery ran out so fast. It was so cold there. So, like, we had to go Wait, into the, the city weather, to charge it every time. It makes the battery go faster. How long did it take so to charge like, it? How many miles did it get? Long 250? time. Yeah, it gives you, like, 250. So, it was at 130 when we got it. Amber's aunt lives about 30 miles away from the from the airport. So, it's 130 miles. When we got there, there was, like, 60 miles left. I was like, what the fuck happened? Did you guys ever run out? We almost did. We were out, do you do we were out you 1%. Percent. Out, I don't know. But I heard when you run out, it's bad. But we found a charger at 1%. Like, literally at 1%. I should have a video. Don't hey, how long did it take to insane. charge? Like, 10 hours. <laughs> I'm dead ass. <laughs> yeah, you got to. There's places called superchargers where it takes, like, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Mm-hmm. See, the one I pre-ordered, the Cybertruck, I got the two engines. You still you keeping the pre-order? Yeah. It, so it's bad. two engines, so it gives me f- f- 380. That's pretty good. Maybe, but three engine give you five. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dang, I wish I would have got the three. The three that engines. Was expensive. Are those ever coming out? That was like three years ago. It comes out into 2023 now. Mm. They said the thing like, yeah, sorry, fam. If you ordered the, the three engine, you'll get it into 2022. If you got the two engine, see you 2024, 2023. Mm. So I'm like, I don't care. My Durango is still trucking, so I'm you good. You're right. All right, let's go, because it's late. You got to get to QA. Uh, I will be fine. Pow, pow, pow. Dicey Gothic, everyone cop.